All right, all right, all right. Here we go. All right, all right, all right. What the fuck? Why am I? What the fuck? Why? Does this? <laughs> Yikes. Listening to myself. XD. Uh. Okay. So this is game number one. Game number one of the Interstellar League. Welcome everyone who may be watching this already. Uh, let's see, let's see. So we have how many? We have uh, 22 players on the map. Some of them playing... <laughs> hey, Tanix. <laughs> Some of them playing... Ezreal bordering Singu? Really? Oh, yeah. And Singu bordering... Yoshimizu. And also, wait, Mule is close to Ezreal. Console as well is. Are we getting around to. Yes, we will have this every single weekend, I hope. So, this will be a series of events, like the real league. Ah, the single against Ezreal from the tournament? Huh. Wait, did Ezreal eat single? The last time they played? I, I remember he fought Baras. Baras was the first one. And then, like, you were the one who stopped him, right? When you conquered his habitats right before the... Like, right after the synthetic ascension. I remember that. Also, this guy... This guy is interesting. Look at this. Trade 375. And he's buying 20. Stop more like mutual annihilation. Well, at least stopped his bloodthirsty way of playing Kappa. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I need to not forget to make save games. I will try to make as many as possible. Okay, who is that? Strawwood? Fabianski. Fabianski is close to Barras and just stand. Damn it. Okay, there is. So. There are like three robots here, like literally three robots next to each other. And looks like <gasps> Barras. Oh, yeah, yeah. Poor Barras. Ah, look at this. G Stanley has skipped the system to take this one. And I guess Barras was late to the party. Wow, that's that's a big. Oof. So he's left only on one planet. And G Stanley has one, two. Three planets not colonized and three planets already. Uh huh. Is it like. Oh, wait, there are two planets here. Okay, so I guess that Barros is okay. I guess that he's okay. What is he doing? Wait, he has 16 calculators already? What the. He has built it so fast. Barras, Barras, Barras. Situation log updated. What are his policies? Balance production, steel isolationist. Uh, prosperity. Okay. He has only one evaluator building. He's making 339 per month. Oh, not being able to build star bases will hurt. Situation log updated. Okay, Ezreal. What is it? Wait, Ezreal has. Oh, pardon me, what? Wait! Ezreal is not playing his... What? What? Well, <laughs> he's not playing the... Void Dwellers. Hey, Mr. Sibas. Hey there. Ezreal is not playing... The... What? Functional architecture. Oh, he's playing on shoulders of giants? Wow, that's mega cool. Yeah, he's playing on shoulders of giants. That's That's interesting. Okay, Mule is playing Necrophages as usual, Slave Optimizations and Architectural Science. Those are nice. Repulsive Aliens, Masterful Crafters and Technocracy. Oh, I wish that Keiji was here. He would be playing the same. Uh, Chernobog is playing the Hive Mind, but with Memorialist. Okay, Nipa is playing 
Necrophage, all right. Look at this, Space Miner and Industrialist, wow. Input Expert is not the best one, but that's all right. Treat, Treat is playing the Mega Corp, no, here be Dragon's Mega Corp with Private Prospectors and Corporate Hedonism. And actually, I have seen it on consoles as well, on consoles build as well. Shocky Toffel. Masterful Crafters and Distinguished Admiralty. On Prosperous Unification, wow, that's bold, that's bold. And that's democratic. Situation Singo. Uh, Rapid Replicator Memorialist. His beloved build. Okay, save game, save game, save game. Situation log updated. Okay. Where is Spain? Yeah, here he is. Uh, wait, what is that? What was that? Situation log updated. Here be dragons. Here be dragons, reanimators, exalted priesthood, fanatic spiritualist. Wow, that's that's spicy. And there is a strange asteroid, right here. Nice. Apollo on YouTube. I guess that Apollo is playing. Rock Savages, right? Follow on YouTube. Hmm, he's number two. Updated. He's number two in the ranks right now. Rapid Replicator, Rock Savitar. Hey, Tokarok, is anyone memeing with Green World? Nope. Well, at least I have not seen it yet. Let's check on the map. Any mega structures? I do not see any. Yep, we do not have mega structures on the map. Even broken ones. Nope. Not a single ring world. Wait, what is this? Ah, sanctuary, okay. We have the sanctuary. Get inside on the territory of Caldebol. Wow, that can be. Oof. Okay, that can be. Quite hard. Oh, he has bowls. Wow. Caldebok has balls. Situation log updated. What is he playing? Void dwellers. Okay. Let's check what is going. He has two construction ships, and he's taking the territory. So. Okay. Save game. Save. He has two point six k of allies in Stockpile and four hundred science. Let's check Alec. Alec has a really nice build. He has less allies, but he has a little bit more science, and he is playing the Criminal Syndicate. Public Relations Specialist. Available envoys plus two. Wow. Oh, he's building he's building spy networks all over the place. I see. Oh wait a second. Ah, so what is his build? What is he doing on his habitats? Eight metallurgists here, alright. None of them here. 19 researchers. Policies, militarist economy, consumer benefits. Oh, he did not put anything here, like for market fee or trade value, and he went into supremacy. Hi, Nola. Can you explain why the rules for that game Stefan did last weekend banned here be dragons technocracy? Mm, to be honest, I have no idea. Or well, syncretic evolution plus Dilic Bloom. How how are these a problem? To be honest, I have no idea. Like I played with the regular build I used. Well not with the regular, with one I knew how to play. And that's it. Like uh... I have never encountered any issues with those. Maybe maybe they know something. Maybe there are some interactions between this. But here be dragons and technocracy. No idea. Like maybe maybe it prevents of sitting and taking up, but I cannot tell like I have no idea why this is the issue. Situation log updated. Oh god. 
130 unity on Sirius. Wow, this guy is serious. He's doing the marketplace of ideas, right? Yeah, like, I have no idea why. Maybe there is one. I do not pretend to know everything. And rules are rules. So, uh, rules for this game we have. Uh, where is it? There is a comment for the bots. Rules. Here we go. Here is a rule set we have for this game in particular. So I can tell you about the rules we have and the reasoning behind those. I definitely need to learn how to do the spectator thingy. Situation log updated. Mule is sitting plus 15 LS right now. Wallace is. Beat me to it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Also, the music tends to be a little bit. Hey, DZ Ninex. I am KT. Yes, you are. I was advised to not start. I was advised to not start uh, streaming from right from the start of the game because like first years are not that great to watch. Is trade league league that overpowered? Uh, trade league provides you with all you wish, like with unity, with consumer goods. It's just. It, like, it's not the game-breaking thing, but it's one of the things that can make, like, an empire with the, like, the part of the Trade Federation, Trade Lake Federation, and next to it, to it is another buyer empire without it, and you have no chance. You'll have, like, you'll have way too much unity. Hey, Silas. And Mr. Georgia, yeah, that's another tournament. We'll have uh, this event every weekend. I remember when I said that Mega Crop Trades going to be OP? Well, you forecasted that really well. I'm really curious how it goes here. If Baros is going to assassinate or try to assassinate G Stanley. What is this? Ruined world? Wait a minute. Oh no, this is Void Dwellers. This is Mr. Cal. Okay, so. Actually, this lobby is stacked. Look at the names. Look at the names. Like, literally. Almost like close to 70% of all veteran players are in. Silas is not in, unfortunately, but. It is what it is. Yoshi, Charno, Alec, Nipo, Ezreal, Singu, Shard, Bares, Okukiril, Charnobok, Fabianski. All the bulk. I saw the unit jobs will lose likely four times as much as compared to now. Wow, that will be. I wonder how will they change their hive mate thingy because. Hive means unity production facilities, like dudes that produce Synapse drones, they produce admin, admin, admin sprawl, I mean admin capacity and unity at the same time. Yeah, I have not seen people memeing, but I have seen a lot of corporate hedonism. So there are like at least three mega corps on the map. With this one. Nipo is close to Shard. What is Shard doing? I know that Shard is kind of sick right now, so there is a chance. Not the best performance, but we'll see. Each must be playing, yeah. This one. Wait. Situation log updated. Arta not in lobby, KT noob. Arta will not be playing it for quite some time, but he will be but soon he will be back. So prepare Orenus. Also I have added I have added uh, sound alerts 
Maybe next week? Wow. Nice. Situation log nice. Updated. Look at this. Okay, the mule is making... How much is he making? 422 science, and this is with technocracy. So he's 31% without any buffs. 42% technological ascendancy. Wow. He rushed. Oh, he's... Okay, so he... He finished Prosperity, he took two points into Discovery, and now we'll be trying to finish Supremacy. Uh, I can forecast that he will be a little bit late with Supremacy, but maybe this is his strategy. Where lobby with Hardcore Rule Set for Real Men? What do you what do you, what do you mean under Hardcore Rule Set for Real Men? What are your thoughts on Shared Burdens? Uh, Autocark, you know what? I think that's like it was quite okay at some point of time before this patch. I remember people playing it a bit, but the consuming good upkeep is so high. That's incredible. I have not tried it lately, but it feels like it's not worth it. Wait, is it a bug? Like there is no way he has not built up. There is no way he has not built up a station here, right? Is there serious? Log updated. Mm. Yeah, this must be this must be the problem. Deposits twelve. Okay, deposit must be on the starting habitats. Empire base five deposits twelve. Yeah, wait. Does it really mean that he has not built up here? And he's not the only one, right? Like, I see that Alec has not built up in the capital. That's Mr. G. Stanley has not built up yet. You see this? This must be a bug. Okay, so G. Stanley went for the greedy. For the greedy build. Okay, let's check it. Wow. And he has pop assembly on his colonies as well. And he has two organic sanctuaries. 134 science. Barus must be able to overpower him, right? Go which Uki planets? Yeah, let's check it. Uki real. Where is Uki real? Okay, what is his build? Okay, finally, natural neural network. Ascetic, but tree of life. <laughs> he still plays tree of life. Okay, it's year 15. He has 240. Balance production, isolationist. Wait. Until year 20. He has changed it from... Okay, that's interesting. What, are, what do we have here? Three drones here, that's suboptimal. One brain drone here. Six brain drones here. Tech world, research assistants, sweet. Research assistants and artifact relays. Okay, that's super good. Nine. Food. And no. Oh, wait, there is one hydroponics. Claim and line in a competitive game. Yeah, we always use this in competitive games, but in usual games we have claim and, claim and line till the end of the game, and in Tony we have it only till year 50. So there's a chance to actually kill or uh, inflict real, like, real big wounds to anyone. Put up on pops. Uh, let's check. Yoshimizu has 71. Yeah, I guess it's the Yoshimizu has the biggest amount. Oh no. Apollo has 73. And he's playing the Rock Savage, right? He must have used the... Okay, let's check his colonies. Okay, he has four colonies. Uh, did he go? Oh, Discovery, two points. Prosperity. Okay, that's interesting. Will he have enough? There is no way he will have Supremacy ready for the fight. 
but it doesn't look like he's next to any aggressive robots. Okay, he has six star bases that are pumping some resources for him. He's buying five alloys. What are his policies? Manufacturing focus, closed, isolationist. Okay, nothing special here. What about pops? He has 13 biotrophies. And he's rebuilding alloy, uh, rebuilding this thing into alloy foundries. Okay, makes sense. He's stockpiling his biotrophies here. And he, oh, wow. Yeah, that's sweet. Let's check. Okay, G. Stanley has 59. And Barras. What about Barras? He has 52, but he does not have any working, like any biotrophies. So he does not care about this, technically. Technologies. Battleframe army. Plasma thrower. Wow, that's cool. He has nice researches. Oh, well, this one. Interesting. I guess he had a really bad tech roll. Okay, what about Singularity? Singu Singu. And Fabianski, yeah, Fabianski. He's next to them as well. Boris can make 10k from two planets. Well, actually he has three planets, so he's totally okay with that. Oh, this one is a mistake. 100% a mistake. If you put this robot here, you'll get more minerals. Okay. What about this? Okay, uh, so Fabianski is playing the, like, this is a old school way of playing. Yeah, I saw that he has two as, as well, but it looked like he had only two. Okay, Fabianski is doing the old school build with the strongholds. Has how many? Two? Ten? That's not enough. He has ten. Ten strongholds, 56 unity. Mm. This might be not enough. This might be not enough. Situation log updated. Alec is at the top. He must have put, yeah, branch offices 258. Wowzers. <laughs> I wonder where he's he put his. Oh, Kaldebolk. Poor Kaldebolk. He's suffering. A lot of energy here. Okay. Destroys. Wow, he has nice technologies as well. How's Kaldbach suffering? Uh, he's a Void Dweller as well. Hmm, he does not have criminals, but he has 100% crime. I guess you can go for the uh, crime lord deal, right? This is not in lobby, yeah, this is not in, in the lobby, unfortunately. He decided to skip it. Disease is ignoring us <laughs> all the time. I skip stupid lobbies, he said. Ay, ay, ay. Situation log updated. Yeah, where's Mr. TBR? Is he playing? Oh, collective consciousness. All right, all right. <laughs> I skip stupid lobbies with rules. I play role play only. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Situation log updated. Okay, Kaldebog has almost the same amount. Wait, he has 111 minerals per month. Has he built? He must have built some additional habitats. Right? Nope. But he has a he has a colony ship. Okay, the habitat has been built, and I guess this one, on oh, no, a mining station. Mm -hmm. So one habitat has been built. 
Oh, Caldebog also has 30 minerals from star bases. I am still experimenting with aquatic hive mind. Are you back to void dwellers now? Well, it's not an experiment already, it's like a legit build. And to be honest, I need to get back, I need to practice to play void dwellers now. Because I have already forgotten how to do this. And these guys, like Alec, Caldebog, Asdrael, they are the best right now. Also, Silas. I guess Silas is, must be one of, if not the strongest Void Dweller right now. How is Astral doing, by the Situation way? Log updated. How is it going? Well, you know what? Magikaz, the guy who is hosting for us, is champ. He has literally saved us. Okay, this is Astral. He's playing the... Why is he doing the... I wonder why does he do the On Shoulders of Giants? What is the... Oh, he has Vanquard, by the way. <laughs> speaking about... Speaking about Asdrael and... And... Guy Worlds. Boris didn't show up? Well, actually, it was a lack of organization from my side, so I'll take the blame for this. I wanted this to be, you know, like... Lobby without any expectations. Not a lot of hype, just a little bit more exposure than usual. I, I will be glad if we will be able to have these lobbies every day. Well, I mean, every weekend. Barros is such an, in such a poor state. He has to attack. I mean, in poor position. He has to attack G. Stanley, but... But here... There is, there is Fabianski next to him. So he has to be careful with that. Situation log updated. Technologies. 11. Okay, what about Caldebulk? Oh, he's researching. He has researched robots. And he has alloy mega forges. Alright. Oh, he has already upgraded mega forges. Ooh. When I play Void Dwellers, <laughs> like Silas, you know, when I play Void Dwellers, I see like two minerals, I'm already happy. Like, wow, two minerals in space, yeah. And then Silas is like usual, like year 10, oh, I have 50 minerals in my space, ooh. But yeah, like, <laughs> Astral, like, previous, previous champ, pre previous tournament he participated in, he had a Gaia World, two Gaia Worlds. Now he has a guy world as well, but this is Vanquard. Keeper. And this keeper is. And this is beautiful. And reminds me about contingency a little bit. Yeah, let's check. Caldeblock is numero uno. He has 44 pops. What are his policies? Militarized economy consumer benefits. Oh, he has a lot of consumer goods. My man. Wait, he's buying consumer goods? That's interesting. Does he have any bio neighbors? No, he doesn't have bio neighbors. The closest bio neighbor, by empire, he has is this one. Uh, what about Alec? Oh, like absolutely no one here. Next one is Nipo, here. But he's quite far away. Oh wait, they don't even have the connection. Well, I mean they have, but it's so far away. This is the high point. TBR is playing it. The smart dolphin. Does not look like a dolphin, but okay. So, okay. Hive Mind, Bio Empire, Rock Savitar. Apollo is playing the Rock Savitar. Another Bio Empire. This will be interesting, but you know what? If you ask me, if you ask me to tell you where like the most important war will evolve, it's this point. Like three Robo Empires next to each other. Okay, what about here? Shaki Teufel, Peach, and Straw What? Actually, this is like this must be three bio empires next to each other. Here as well, Shadow of Soul, Yoshimiza plays the Hive Mind, and Julius plays his beloved Machine World. <laughs> hey, you stupid Ruski, stop invading Ukraine, I'll kill you all. <laughs> hey, Sifadin. Actually, 
how did I manage to catch the stream? Hi, Mr. Botonchuk. Long time no see. I'm glad you're here. I haven't been streaming for like four days. I was thinking like, oh, where, like, will I get mad? Well, will people who watched me get mad of me being absent or not? Hopefully you're not mad at me, Kappa. But I have added, like, actually I have added something new to the, to the stream. Now there are sound alerts that you can use for the, uh, for the channel points like this. That's it. I was just showing the example. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> I hope it's okay. But I have some sounds for when when the wars start. Situation log update. When wars start and will people will start dropping like flies. Play my music cost, five thousand. I kek every single time. <laughs> I can't play, okay, let me... Just show me, show, send me the link, Dizzy. Just send me the link. Mr. Batonchik as well, please send me the link if you want me to play any music. Situation log updated. Can't pay for 5k? Well, you have to watch the stream then. That's the idea. Well, Mango, what has happened? 52 pops and so high. And so high in the... Like, list of empires. Oh, wait, I see. 375 energy from branch offices. I see the channel points I influence now. Yeah, yeah. And actually, I have ordered the icon, but it will be done the next week. Are you crazy, comrades? What do you mean? Ah, that's... I'm... I'm going to play any music by <laughs> Dizzy. Oh shit, I don't <laughs> I'm already afraid. I have checked the the like screenshot of this. Parental warning explicit lyrics. Okay, Dizzy, I'm sorry. Scooby Boy, hey there. <laughs> it says it says parental warning. Yeah. Explicit explicit lyrics. Auto generated by YouTube. Okay, let me. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Imagine if Dizzy plays this music like on a daily basis, just listens to this. Okay. Jesus Christ, this man. Bruh. <laughs> this is total bruh. Okay, let's focus. Okay, let's focus. So, 46 hours per month. Series has 76. How much? Listening to it on loop for an entire lobby. And not, and not driving yourself nuts. Music about good players. Okay, what about the cookie roll? I want to check the amount of science he's making. 350 and 37 alloys. Alright, Nipo has 57 alloys per month. 316. Science only for pros. <laughs> this is why Dizzy is so good. This sound like, sounds like Dizzy song? Yeah, it is. It's actually Dizzy song. But Singu. Singu does not have a lot of alloys, by the way. 53. Okay, what about Barras? Mule. 56. Quite a, quite an okay stockpile. Call the bulk. 5.7 and 8 per month. Okay. Alec. Same stockpile and 61 per month. Uh, he'll have like 12k. Pop up for sound alert is too big. Uh, actually, yeah. You're right, let me let me do this. Let me change this. Okay. This must be better now. I said that everyone sits on the same amount. Situation log updated. I don't Situation see anyone. Log updated. But actually, Mr. Treat. Bruh. So we will cast this regularly Sunday 4 p.m. CAT. Yes, that's correct. I'll try to get I'll try to get the server for the next one. 
Uh, maybe William will be able to uh, donate us the funds or like the computer that is su sufficient enough to play on the Super Sour by a Anton or to have the reasonable fleet speed. Because Magic Isles like, like literally saved us. Look at the speed. Fast speed, 21 players, 22 players in the lobby. Almost like, almost everyone is just... Okay, I'm not, I'm not racist. There are no legs. Okay. This is what I mean. Situation log updated. Everyone has a lot of... Situation log updated. I don't see a single one, a single empire that uh, has broken through one, uh, 100 alloys. Yep, not a single one. Baras does not have a lot of alloys. That's a problem for him, I guess. What about G Stanley? Okay, Baras, let's check his technologies. Stream buffered for half a second after your words, there is no lag. Yeah. I'm glad that I have not. Like, I'm glad that I did not host this lobby. That could have been the issue. Okay, Baras. Baras technologies are quite, quite nice, right? He has everything he needs. Almost everything he needs. What about G Stanley? Situation log updated. Oh, he did not, he did not uh, get this planet. Hmm. Alright, this planet. This planet is just for the replicating of his robots and some admin sprawl, this one. I guess replication as well. Energy. Planets, alright. Alloy planets. Wait. Ah, industrial districts in Forge World, alright. And his capital produces some science, some alloys, and sits at minus 20 amenities. Yeah, that's interesting. What about Fabianski? Uh, will he be able to finish Supremacy in time? Sort of 5, 9 months. It's like 40 months for this. Wait, really? He'll be able to do this? Oh. Has he added any strongholds? Nope. He's still sitting on this amount of strongholds he has from the start of the game. I wonder how many biotrophies does he have? 11. Okay, that's interesting. 83 alloys. Okay, what about his capital? Minus 2 amenities. Okay, and tier 2 forges on his planet. Alright. Let's see Apollo, since I'm checking other robots. He has 92 pops. He has 17 biotrophies. And this is his only source of unity. He went quite a greedy mode. One point into... Like two points in discovery, prosperity and supremacy now. This can backfire if someone attacks him. There is no way he will be able to defend. So if Pain decides to inflict some pain on his empire, on Apollo's empire, he'll be quite... Situation log updated. In some sort of trouble. Okay, Mule. Mule is close to 100 alloys per month. Who is he next to? Uh, <gasps> Mule and a cookie reel. Mule is necrophage. And the cookie reel is a hive mind. Oh gods. No. I'm rooting for a cookie reel. He's playing the tree of life. Imagine it if it will be the tree of death. Branch office is 470 energy for treat. Serious? No branch offices, but 286 from trades and 100 monthly trades. He's set in 65 consumer goods. And the price is not going down. Wow. Ah, yeah. Okay, because it's that's uh, consumer goods, not alloys. He's buying 20. Went minerals. And this is a problem. He has overbought alloys at some point. That's why the price is just too high for him to buy anything. Okay, Alec. Alec has close to 600 science. Wow, that's a lot. 
Uh, could I check Mills planets? I'm next fresh main. Oh yeah, I'll do just a second. Let's check Alex approach. He will be the aggressive void well, it's 100 percent I know that. He's making how much science? 23 researchers, wow. That's impressive. And 280. 280 energy from branch offices. Jesus. Alright, uh let's check. Let's check Mr. Mule. And his planets. Uh, his capital is solely for the production of science minerals. Yeah, science and minerals, and a little bit of consumer goods through artificers. Does he have. He has three minor artifacts, but he is not using them yet. Oh, crashed starship. That's a nice one. Wow, that's a nice one. Okay, so his secondary planet is solely devoted to the production of. Empires, like administrative limits or whatever it's called. Admin capacity, energy and consumer goods. And here it is, his alloy producing facility. Tier 2 alloy foundry, full, like a lot of, a lot of uh, metallurgists and a little bit of technicians. However, there is an issue. The crime is at almost 30. Wait, where did he get these, these dudes? Domestic servitude? Ah, this must be on one of the... This must be his primitive world. Four pops here. Four pops here. Mm -hmm. So he stopped. Okay, this was... Wait. Five points and four points. Oh, I mean, five pops and four pops. Did he did he have four and four pops? Wow, that's kind of nasty. On his primitives, but he's he's doing really well. Four hundred forty science. What's his score? He's number two in the galaxy and has four hundred sixty technology level. Mister Calderbolk. Let's check Mister Calderbolk as well. What's his score? Five hundred fifty. Okay, Apollo. Five? Wait. 400, alright. Alec. Log updated. Where is Alec? He's a little bit... 455. But he has... Yeah, he is militarist, so this will help him. He stopped his primitive growth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's all. Also, wait. Uh, what planets is he running, by the way? I didn't check that. Ocean World. Okay. This is Ocean World. And he's... Pops have aquatic traits, and these pops do not have aquatic. These pops have phototropic. Okay, that's nice. Phototropic, natural engineers, and conser conser conservationist. Actually, not that bad. Okay, now we have two mega corps at the top of the list, and then we have Singu playing playing uh, resource consolidation. Oh, he's producing a lot of alloys right now. 94. And he's researching destroyer hulls and computers. Destroyer hulls are really nice. Okay, what about Calderbulk? Does he have cruisers? He has tier 4 kinetics. Okay. His energy weapons are lacking. Oh man, blue lasers. Okay, Yoshimizu. Yoshimizu is playing the higher mines. And he has 125 allies per month. Yeah, he's making this real well. And also he has four planets. His starting planet has additional energy districts. Okay. He does not have tier 2 buildings here. How much is he? He's producing a little bit uh, lower amount of science compared to... Compared to the other builds you can have with the hive mind. Does he have two edicts? Yeah, capacitor subsidies and binding subsidies. And his path and traditions. Prosperity into supremacy. Okay, I see. I see what is the problem. And he also, he did not build this. Build the very limit. Oh, he did not roll hive nexus, I see. That's a problem. But he has... Well, he has everything he needs, technically. So he can conquer Mr. Singu if he wishes. 
Okay, what else? What else? Whom can we check? Do you have someone in particular whom you want to check? The way their economy is doing. Actually, Nipo. What about Nipo? He's a necrophage? Yeah, he's a necrophage. What about his species? Oh, Chernobog. Yeah, you're right. You're totally right. Where's Chernobog? Here he is. 91, 81 LS per month, but higher science. Way higher science. Oh, he went, he went uh, three points into synchronicity and he picked executive vigor here. Uh huh. Capacity subsidies, money subsidies, and fortify the border. Starbase capacity plus two, and he's sitting at seven out of seven. Hmm, that's interesting actually. And he's already preparing the shipyards. Year 25, that's, that's just in time. And he has cruisers. Wow, he's doing really well. Tier 2 gritic sensors, auxiliary computers, his computers. Okay, he has everything he needs. What about... Oh yeah, how many posts? 93. What about his planets? He has three planets, alright. Ah, he's playing Memorialist. Yeah, he's playing Memorialist. Engineering... Okay, it took him five researches to get mineral purification and uh, energy edict was the first research for him, so that's quite quite okay. He does not have any naval capacity researches. Wow, that's a bit worrisome. What about res uh, resources in space? He has gases. He had two uh, excavations. Actually, having excavations in minor artifacts for artifact relays is so damn important. But he has Chronicle drones and seven synapse drones. Wow. Has he upgraded this one? Yeah, he has upgraded the pillar of Quietus and he has already upgraded mineral purification hubs. He's doing really well. But he has five maintenance drones on his capital. Uh, if he if he uh, went for the one vision, most likely he would have the necessity for only like two maintenance drones. And he could have produced more raw resources and more alloys. 13 districts. Wow. He has he has a production ready. Ready to start pumping out like incredible amount of alloys. Right, who is number one now? Still two mecha probes. 550 energy from Oh yeah, inside 24 Forge Planet. Yeah. I always find it quite Wait, look at this. 10k unity. Find 70 minerals? Whoa, the price. No. Oh. The price though. Buying 40 alloys. People are buying some insane amount of stuff. Like <laughs> that's real. Okay, let's let's check this one. Julius has, I mean, singularity. Pardon me, singularity. Obviously, has he got the assembly? Nope. Not everywhere, at least. Scientists from an undefined power has located the last bell organism. Do you have the pop up in the like usual games? Huh. Interesting. Has someone started building ships? Uh, Chaff. Chaff has started doing this. Uh huh. Okay, this is really nice. But man, the amount of alloys. The amount of alloys is extremely low. Ocean world. 20 researchers. Wait, what is this? Is this technocracy? No way. Ah, functional architecture, merchant guilds. Mechanist? Wow, that's bold. And he's already producing destroyers. Maybe he does not want to get tributized. Huh? Okay, let's check. Let's check the claims. Are there any claims already? Relic world audience. Okay, uh, let's check claims here. No claims yet. 
No claims yet. <laughs> That's interesting. I wonder what the claims will be. Actually, there's a chance that Chernobog will be eating this. We'll try to eat Mr. Calderbog, but it will not be easy. Also, Mr. Calderbog has not started. <gasps> he wants to wait for cruisers. I'm pretty sure he wants to wait for cruisers. And I totally forgot to make save games. Oh, God. I literally skipped, like... Oh. The funniest part is that I have settings, gameplay, autosave annually, autosave the cloud on. Hmm. I will. I, I hope that I can only see manual replays of the cloud replays. I mean, not replays, but save games. Grunur to worlds or call the bulk. Well, actually, Kalbok does not have a really cool income of allies. He kind of stopped at this amount 82. Colony established. And he's buying allies as well, but he has a really nice stockpile of minerals and minor artifacts. Wow. Minor artifacts for the win. He has mercantile and supremacy finished. And he has, he has invested into two habitats at least. Mm -hmm. So we can add 3k of allies to his stockpile of allies. Okay, what about Yushimizu? 125 allies, but his, his economy is so tight. His economy is incredibly tight. However, he has finished Supremacy, so he's ready to roll. Uh, here he is. Has he ordered his ships? Not yet. Ship designer. Is he waiting? Oh, he has just researched cruisers, right? And actually, cruiser hull points. This is so important for the first fight with cruisers. That's just incredible. He has all rare resources. Okay, that's super nice. Singularity. He has less allies per month. Does he have supremacy ready? Yes, he does have supremacy. He also has turned off all unity producing facilities. He has turned off Sanctuary of Repose, so he is running 55 stability on his capital. But he did not uh, cut off the production of robots. Not on a single planet. Okay, let's check Boris. Has Boris cut the production? Like, okay, let's start with G. Stanley. Updated. Uh, nope. He's still... Assembling pops. 100 allies per month. Wow, he's doing really nice. No, he did not cut the production. Oh no. He did. At least on this planet. Actually, you can disable the machine assembly plants. Instead of cutting the production here. Here as well, you will not be paying you will not be paying upkeep to energy. That's a little of a little bit of min max. Wait, there's already galactic immunity? Wow. Nice. Here 28. What about his unity? There must be wait. Is it some sort of a bug that these guys have such a stockpile or are they saving for something? Okay, what about Barrett? Oh no, okay, okay, okay let, let's go. Uh, let's go by the list. Okay, 100 allies per month. Okay, that's nice. Oh, he, he loves this, boys. He loves this. Yuck. Alec? Alec has ordered his ships. Let's check what he has ordered. MMP class. Aha. Uh -huh. He's saving for the speed. He loves speedy boys. Yeah, super mega speedy boys. Policies. 93 months from supremacy. Yeah, doesn't look good. Oh, he has... He has Pleonics, finally. That's cool. Calderbulk. Yeah, he has started building his ships. I guess those are cruisers. Right? 
No, he has, no, he has not studied this. That's interesting. Okay. That's a little bit strange. Nipu is already building his ships. What are those? Uh huh. These bad boys. Hmm. I will go kinetics with that build, to be honest. Does he have any? Oh, okay, I see. That can be a problem. I wonder whom he's going to attack, actually. Caldebalk, I'm starting to be really nervous about this. What are you waiting for? Okay. Hi, Mr. Hawkeye. Any build, any builds banned? Um, total Vampires. Uh, total Vampires, Clone Army. And any builds that spawn the yeah, A's on the map. So that's Hegemony, Scion, Common Ground, and Lost Colony. Clown army. Wait, does he have a non-aggression pact or something? Why is he waiting? I don't get it. Situation log updated. Okay, here it is. Products be like, we create a new origin, the origin is busted. <laughs> I'll be FK for about 15 minutes while I'm having Dean and don't attack me. <laughs> He's asking to get attacked. Okay, alright. So it started. So it started. Hey Tifling, it's a trap. No, that's not a trap. It's like if you like if you feel that you're getting attacked right like, right away after the peace timer, at least you will make other people feel bad for attacking you. Like I'm FK. If you attack me, then you're a bad person because I'll be AFK. So you're inflicting some damage to morale of that of the person who's attacking you, even though you're not doing anything. Oh my gosh, look at this. All the governors, all the specialists in the world. 300 energy from branch offices will be keeping his uh, economy float. Okay, what about the fleet power edicts? And eh, no edicts yet. All right. Kinetics. Plasma. Uh, 100 hull points. Okay, that's nice. Let's see who has the biggest fleets. Alec has 9k. 10k. Mule has 8k. Chernobog has close to 10k. It's a high mind already. Oh, okay. I see where he goes. I see where he goes. Actually, this is a perfect build. Yeah, this is a perfect build against enemy cruisers. However, you know what? Evasion 10%, 5% here, tracking, fire, chance to hit. Uh, kind of. No, man, please don't tell me that Chernamok will be late with his ships. He will be late. Yeah, he will be late. Oof. He also has supremacy, right? Mule is close to 10k. Singularity started building, he has 6k. What about Varus and G. Stanley? Apollo has almost 8k. Fabianski, 9k. Each has 9k. Varus is already fighting. This is what I call nice. Wait, he, he has attacked Fabianski, what? He has attacked another guy, not G. Stanley. Do they have some sort of a non-aggression pact? Yeah, that's... Why did he decide to attack this dude? Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, this is the first war. So the first war is between Boris and... 
Boris and Fabianski. But they have a reasonable amount of fleets, both of them. Fabianski's cruiser is nice. Okay, what does Boris have? I guess that Boris has uh, destroyers, right? Yeah. 1k edicts. Situation log Where is Boris? 10k.2, 10k.2. Bolt ammunition, shield boost, exotic gases as fuel. Mm -hmm. This will be an interesting one. Yeah, Bars is going, going in. Actually, no. What uh, what modules does he have? He has no evasion. I mean, yeah, he he has thirty seven evasion. But what about Fabianski's uh, computers? Uh, not the best one, but his his weapons are so good. Yeah, this will be an interesting fight. Okay, let's check out the fights. What do we have? Singularity is defending against Yoshimizu. Right? Yeah, Yoshimizu. Wait, who has attacked? Oh, wait. Yoshimizu has attacked Singularity and is trying to take his capital. What else? What else do we have? Kaldabolk is getting attacked by Mr. By Mr. Hypermind, Mr. Chanabog. And he does not have enough ships. His ships are being built right now. But that's not enough time. You will not have them in time. Oh god, this is painful. 10.4 and... He needs to change the starbase. Ay ay ay, this is, uh, this is the price of not building fleets in time. Nipa is defending. Nipa is defending against each. They both have the same fleet power. Uh, Alec... He's still sitting in his empire. I guess he's watching. Chernobog is waiting. He's concerned. He's concerned. He doesn't know what is going on. Like, how this fight will go. Maybe he's waiting for reinforcements. Are there some? One cruiser. Wait, is Strawot leaving? No. Situation log updated. Where is he? Okay, we have we have a problemo. Okay, where is Travot? Wait, is he still there? I don't see his name. Oh no. Everything's okay. There was just a small lag right there. Okay, here is a save game. I need to remember to make save games. Okay. Oh, here's the fight. Boris against Fabianski. Wait, is it no retreat? That's no retreat! That's no retreat! Oh gosh. Wait, are they both running no retreat? No way. Bars is going to win this. Right? Oh yeah, no retreat is almost a suicide. Like, it's literally suicide. Okay, what about... Okay, Alec is fighting with... Who is his target? He has attacked... He has attacked... Oh, he got the subsidiary from TBR, and he's attacking Panurin War Subjugation. Oh, he's attacking Strawot. Here. Is 
Itch and Nippo. It looks like Itch has more fleets. Oh yeah. Wait. No, Nippo has more fleets. Wait a minute. Itch has a 13.5k and Nippo. Wait, where are his fleets? Ah, here they are. Okay. <gasps> Destroyers against Corvettes. Okay, this will be interesting. <clears throat> the mule is fighting against... Updated. Seal. Shard. Shard of Soul. Wait. I guess it's... Oh, there was nothing built. Yeah, I told you that uh, he's sick. That's why the, that was the problem. Barris is still fighting and looks like he's... He's taken over. Okay, Yoshimizu and Singularity. Okay, this is this is a dead man walking. He's a dead man. He must be preparing armies somewhere. There's no other way. He must be preparing armies. Oh, he's building mega, mega war forges. All right. Which origin is Caldebog talking about? Ah, uh, he's talking about criminal syndicate. <clears throat> okay, Chernobog. Just got a lot of uh, habitats. Okay, the fleet numbers are dropping, they're fighting. Okay, that is it. Wait, the... What is... Okay, let me check, let, let me check uh, shapes of... Wait. Oh, I see, only, only tier 3 lasers, that's a problem. Okay, Okokrul has 7.2. Asdril has 9.3, by the way, playing the On Shoulders of Giants. And he has cruisers as well. And he's upgrading those cruisers. These cruisers will be nice. Alright, so... We do not have a single AI on the map yet. But it looks like Fabiansk is dead. Oh, he's, depend he's defending on the ground. Okay. Kaldabok is already dead as well. Nipo. Actually, Nipo is attacking. And there will be a big fight now. And each is trying to cut his reinforcements. Has we... Wait, has each rebuilt his ships? Because he had to. Wait, is each on zero energy? Yeah, he was on zero energy. <clears throat> he did not rebuild his ships. Torpedoes will be devastating. Wait, is, is Nippo running no retreats? Fire rate 48%. Oh no, I need to check this side. It looked like some no retreat action. Strawa said GG and left. Why though? He could have just surrendered. Okay, gave gave me 40k energy.
Sorry, Julius. I guess that Yoshimizu has taken over the Empire of Singularity. Wait, Singu has Plasma level 2, right? Singu must have. Uh, Singularity must have Plasma level 2 somewhere. However, he's not dead yet. Yep, he has Plasma level 2, I saw that. Actually, this this Plasma will be quite... Uh, will inflict a lot of damage. At the same time, he does not have a lot of ships. That's a problem. And his numbers are plummeting right now. If... if uh, Yoshimizu starts bombing his planets. There is no chance for him to come back. I mean for Singularity. But he has a shipyard here. I wonder if he's going to get... I guess he's not... Okay. We have two... We have two casualties so far. Situation log updated. So that was Strawwood and Caldebolg. I get that Fabianski will be following and Singularity after some time. Also, it feels like Shadow of Soul is the next, also the next victim. And Nipo will be one of the casualties as well. Alright, so I like has 16 points, okay, as for now. I don't know why this guy has surrendered. Uh, has not surrendered, like, for real. There was only one. <laughs> there was only one claim. And there was nothing in this system. That's even the... How's it called? It's called the... Observing, wait. Achieve war goals, observing. War of subjugation. Subjugation. Is it the tributes, I wonder? Right, it feels like that G. Stanley will be fighting Chernobog and Barras will be finishing and Barras will be finishing, finishing uh, Fabianski. Fabianski has a lot of armies all over the place. Oh, uh, how is Barras doing? What about his armies? <gasps> Wait, G. Stanley attacked him in the back. Ah. Uh. That's why I was uh, surprised that Barus was so... Hmm. But he actually attacked here. It, it felt like Gistendi was an easier target at that point of time. And if if Barus had any non negotiable packs with this dude... It's a problem of his situation. It's a problem of his position. He's in between two robots. So like both of the robots have to... have to attack into him and he does not have a single target. That's sad. His planet is under heavy bombardment, right? Not not heavy. He did not switch. He did not switch any bombardment types, so. I want to like Stellaris, but Stellaris hates me. Yeah. But I, one of the reasons you lost your morale was that criminal syndicate. And also that your cruisers were too late on the battlefield. I have a allies? What does it mean? Oh. Ezreal? Ezreal wants to help Singularity and defend against Yoshimizu? Hmm, but they have risen, like, they have quite the same amount of fleets. I wonder why. So, on shoulders of giants, is helping the machine empire to defend against the hive minds. Can you imagine this? Okay, what type of the what type of the war is that? An exchange an annexation attempt. Oh, I see.
he's fighting them, like, Yoshimizu is fighting them one by one, but Ezreal's fleets are way stronger. I mean, in the weapon department. He has plasma tier too. At the same time, Yoshimizu must have a healthy income of alloys, right? So Ike has 16k, and that's the biggest fleet on the battlefield right now. We have two AI empires. Nippo has lost his entire fleet. And he's getting occupied, right? Yeah, that's a heavy occupation right now. He's defending the ground, though. <laughs> he's building strongholds. People are not giving up. Easy. The mule is, the mule is still fighting Shadow of Soul, right? Yeah. Is there something on the ground? 200 armies on the ground. He has to bomb a lot. He has 12k. And his ships are... His ships are quite cool. Yeah, he has two He has two upgrades for his destroyers. Uh, what about Mr. Chernobog? He has 12k. Uh, he has not finished the war yet. I wonder what is he waiting for. Has he taken all habitats? Oh yeah, he did. <laughs> so Barvas killed Fabianski and Gistendi is about to get Tibet and to get Barvas uh, territory. This is so this is so unlucky that we had three robots in, in these close quarters. And that these two robots like destroyed each other's fleets and then only one robot gets on top. It's way better when all the empires, when all robot empires have the same, like, power. Okay, so what are the next steps of Alec? Is he going to attack? He's going back. He's going back to his capital. Technologies. He's researching cruisers. He's far away from finishing supremacy. Wait, it's not it's not Alec, right? It cannot be Alec. Wait. Really? No way. He's so far of finishing supremacy? Wow. Okay, what about Yoshimizu? He has 145 allies per month. So technically he can defend, I guess. That's not a big deal. You'll be defending. Enemy troops landing. A lot depends on what. A lot depends on like what neighbors you have. In this case, who attacks whom. Mukukul is just sitting here with his beloved speedy boys. And like Watching what is going on in the galaxy. How many allies Singo has? Let's check. 117 per month. He has better weapons. He has better weapons than... Uh, than Yoshimizu. That's the problem of Yoshimizu's fleets. Wait, has Singularity claimed anything? Oh yeah, he had. Now Ezreal has to back off. He has to back off to repair, because this is not a joint war. Also, we did not have any federations on the map, right? Okay, Chernobyl has finished his first war. Uh, what has he done with the species? Livestock? Okay, he must, he must uh, stabilize his economy now. Is he resettling livestock somewhere? Wait, give me a second. Synapse drones, livestock. 629 science. He's doing pretty well. Yeah, he's doing pretty well. In his place, I disable some of the buildings here as well. Because, you know. Hmm, well, he's positive on minerals and food. He's doing well. He's number two in the ranks. Huh? 
situation. The first one is treat. Independent and making 750 energy. Oh yeah. Single must help as well. Otherwise they will not be able to take down Yoshimizu. Actually, if Yoshimizu defends here, there is no other way, right? There is only one way here. Mm -hmm. It feels like Bellaby starts to get a little bit slow, slower than usual. But we'll see how it goes. Okay, so Yoshimizu has 10k. Yoshi has 10k. Uh, Singu has how many? Where is it? 7.6. Uh huh. And Ezreal has 10k. So they have 6k on top of what Yoshimizu has, but he has not repaired his ships yet. What weapons does he have? Any improvements? No. Same weapons. Is he building some defenses here? Does not look like it. Situation log updated. Mm -hmm. It will take quite some time for Mule to finish this war. And I can feel that <laughs> Okukiru is sitting here and waiting. Waiting when to bounce on on mule. Baros still has his fleet. Uh, he cannot attack this into this. Oh no, his army is here. Aye, aye, aye. But he still has a shipyard here. Is the shipyard? Yeah, he's rebuilding. Alec has lost his uh, branch offices, but he has now some tributes, this guy. Wait, he's producing a lot of subject taxes. Oh? Isolationist. TBR needs to, needs to switch this one. If you switch from Isolationist, you pay twice less. Situation log up oy, oy, oy. How much is he paying? 260. Okay, I'll, I'll help him a little bit. Even if it's not 100%, like, I doubt this will change anything, right? He'll be the only person uh, getting any benefit for it. I just cannot watch it. This is so painful. When someone sits with Isolationist, <laughs> being the tribute, that's just... That's a little bit too much. Too much to handle for the, for the economy of the person involved. Well, actually, Yoshimizu has close to 16k of fleet, so... Chernobyl is upgrading.
Alright, I'm back. I mean, I'm back with with their with their voice. Okay, Alec. Well, 16k for Yoshimizu. Where's the fleet of Alec? 17.3. Alec, so Alec is still taking the number one place in fleet powers in Galaxy, but Yoshimizu is real close to him. Let's check. Let's check the economy of Mister TBR now. Oh, okay, here we put here we're not positive. Subject tax is 130, and he has been paying 250 at this point. Nothing, nothing required to actually. Wait a second. He's not paying minerals. When you're the tribute of the Mega Corp, you do not pay minerals. Oh, is it real? Yeah. Mega Corp tribes don't pay minerals. Hmm, I didn't know that. That's interesting. But can establish offices without trade deal? Ah, I see. So this is. Okay, I see it. I see it. Well, when your subsidiary is the hive mines, the hive mind is literally dodging the bullet. Situation law Especially when it's the criminal syndicate. Well, actually, when you have the criminal syndicate, you can still establish offices without, without the agreement. You could literally fill the worlds of your sub with only mines. Uh, let me check what what Alec is doing with uh, his branch offices. Ah, oh, he has some minerals from those branch offices. Actually, that's smart. That is smart. <laughs> He's producing minerals from those worlds. Yeah. Is he upgrading? Yeah, he's upgrading his ships now. I wonder what is his next step. Damn it, look at this. Fabianski has survived. And Boris is here. Привет, Молзер. Я решил по... Я решил по кастить. У нас... Типа турнира, довольно-таки большая карта, большое количество хороших игроков. Я решил кастить это дело. Около 2 лет, и я могу ассимилировать попс. Окей, давайте проверим. Давайте проверим Чернобок. Чернобок будет сильный. Где он? Он номер один. Окей, что касается Unity? Oh yeah, habitability modification. He he researches this one and he will be able to assimilate pops of Calderbulk. And he's like the Empire of Calderbulk has been invaded by someone. Okay, who is that? Oh, that's Apollo. Apollo is invading. Situation. He has a reasonable amount of fleets as well. He has cruisers too. All medium slots. Oh, that's an interesting build, actually. Any other weapons? He has tier 4. And full shields, wow. Chernobog is growing, he has popped on this planet, on this habitat. Okay, this is Apollo, he has 1k of influence. Oh, wait, has he tributized or vassalized? What is this? Tributary war? Huh. That's interesting. Situation log updated. Okay, what about Yoshimizu? Yoshimizu is advancing with 16k. And Ezreal is waiting here. While Singularity is okay. They are joining their forces. Okay, this will be a tough fight for Yoshimizu. He will be trying to fight here, I guess. Uh, what about his what about his edicts? Does he have? Okay, he has everything on, except for exotic gases. One cruiser hull. If he had plasma, I tell you, if he had plasma tier two and tier two computers, you can do this with a high mind. It's possible with the amount of 
uh, fleets these dudes have. You can have up to 25k with a high mind. Brialora embraces cybernetics. 16 size planets with a lot of blockers. Oh man. I mean the alloy producing facility. 556 science per month. That's a reasonable amount. Watches world and lamb. Hmm, yeah, indeed. I would say that he could have defended, maybe, if he puts stronghold and a lot of defense platforms here. A Barras message this for. <laughs> this is so. This is so unlucky. For Mr. Barras. Situation log He's fighting G Stanley, who has 3.4k, and he's coming in. Wait, Barras has 8k himself. He can jump. He can jump on him right now and try to take back these planets. Actually, they are at the same amount of work exhaustion. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, what about the economy of Boris? Does he have an okay economy? Well, he has an okay economy, actually, <laughs> all of a sudden. He could have... Uh, disabled the assembly of his drones on all of his planets. Right? Yeah, like, why not? He can't defeat. Like, he can defeat. He can take this system. He can take these systems back. And if, if he takes the systems, there, there will be no way to stand like, into anything. But he wants to fight him here first. No, 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 no. Back, 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 back. No, please, wait. No. Oh. <sighs> Those carrots were killed. Enemy troops landing. Let me play something. Are they fighting? No, and he def Oh, they engaged one by one. <gasps> Some torpedoes. This will be a close fight. And torpedoes from here. They missed? Torpedoes, you're retarded. You had to, you had to. Hit. Wait, is it no retreat? Don't just stand this side? No, no way. No, this is not no retreat. But it feels like almost a no retreat for Boris. Boris is winning this? Boris is winning! 58 to 58%. Wow. Wow, that, that was cool. Situation log updated. Astral has 17k. Astral has 17k and Singularity has 9k. Uh, I see. I guess that Yoshimizu wants to defend in Blem. Yoshimizu has 20k, Chernobog has 17k, uh, Ezreal 18k, what about Alec? Alec 19k, Nipa has left, right?
Actually, these fights are so close, so interesting. I mean, this one especially. <laughs> uh, the fight between Boris and G. Stanley. G. Stanley has 4.5k left, but he has not repaired those, right? Yeah. Wait, is it everything that Boris has left? No way. No, please. Policies? Defense and death? It doesn't have... Okay, this is... Wait, is this G. Stanley? Nipa is leaving. Okay, he is the next casualty. Okay, where is Boris? Okay, uh, Nipo is gone, Apollo is fighting the same bot, G. Stanley is fighting Barras, or rather Barras is fighting G. Stanley. Barras lost more ships than G. Stanley, that is a problem. What is he running? <gasps> He's on no retreat, this is why, this is why he won that fight, he was, lo he was losing. Oh god. He's on borrowed time, technically. Well, G. Stanley has almost the same amount of income. But he has a better stockpile. But Barras will be losing ships. If Barras takes this planet back, this is some sort of a win. Maybe, maybe if he fights on this station, he'll be able to stop G. Stanley's onslaught, but... The problem is that... His capital is gone, and G. Stanley will have two capitals at once. Alec is fighting against Mule. Ah, yeah. He does have a wormhole. Oh god, Pure Mule. Doesn't look good. Actually. Maybe even the mule will be able to defend. Oh, the Yoshimizu has also fought. Okay, let's let's watch this since we started watching this. Okay, the mule will be able to defend, to deflect the attack of Alec. Alec has lost a lot of ships. Right? I see that mule has Lasm as well. Yoshimizu said GG. GG man. Damn it, I, I missed the fights uh, between them. Roach attack failed. Now, uh, now Mule knows. <laughs> it's also Mule's station. You should never forget that this is... That this is the Mule's starbase. You will have to call the ambulance for yourself if you're attacking to the Mule. So, what were the... The amount of... Oh, actually, I guess they just... Yeah, they just... Used the overwhelming power of their fleets to break through Yoshimizu. They said it was close, but it doesn't look like it was close, to be honest. Hit and run on Singularity. What about... What about Mr. Estrel? Let's check. 17k must be on hit and run as well. Yep, hit and run. 
Hmm. The question is what he is going to do with the planets. I mean, he has only claimed one, right? No, two planets. And there is no way he will be using the pops, right? Because, yeah, he's on shoulders. Oh, giants. <laughs> Go back home, <laughs> home, son, you're not ready. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Mule, come on. Mule is a savage. Kappa. Okay. Chav has fought in game. Hello, Tavares Elbirator de la Rasas Read. How are you today? I am Mr. XXL. I'm fine, thank you. What about you? I'm casting the tournament and actually it's, it's delivering. I love it. Wukukil has 15k of ships and he's doing nothing. I mean, uh, he has 153 pops. Okay, Chernobyl has 200 pops. He has studied assimilating, right? Yeah, he's amidst of the assimilation. And he has a void dweller trade in his hive mind. Oh, on his hive mind pops. Wow. I guess that he will be attacking into G Stanley. He needs some place to live. Is he building is he preparing his ships? His ships are top notch. Yeah, look at those. Except for Iron Thrusters and Hyper Drives, his ships are super good. Okay, uh wait. Okukil has problems with energy? Or has he deleted some of his ships? I've seen that his firepower just dropped to 7k. Apollo is fighting. Wait, is he still fighting the same? Yeah, he's still fighting the same AI. Ah, he cannot get to this point, and that is why he cannot status quo or achieve war goals. Oh yeah, yeah. So there is actually there is <laughs> there is a possibility that he will be attacking into here, into Chernobyl. He needs to get through. At the same time, attacking Chernobyl will be, I guess, not the best decision ever. Yes, Chernobyl is strong. Mule is strong as well. Mule has 15k. Uh, what about what about Alec? He has 12k left. He has sustained some losses. At the same time, it looks like Mule has more war exhaustion, but that's due to the fact that that Alec has two tributaries, I guess. Oh, he will try to jump through. Uh, interesting. Where is the Mule fleet? He's waiting. Maybe not. Maybe yes, maybe not. I'm really afraid to give up any information. Give out any information. M Mule is feeling well. His alloy income is reasonable. He is finishing discovery. Oh, he went biologic ascension. Wow. Okay, what about sensors? Does not have crystalline sensors. Uh, does he have any sensors at all on his ships? Yeah, sensors level 2. So, he must see that. Uh, what about Alec? Does Alec see something on the territory of Mule? Let's check. Oh, yeah. Wait. No, he doesn't. Wait. I'm confused. This is Alec, right? This is the wormhole. That leads here. Bruh. <laughs> hey, Raven. <laughs> Thank you for your follow and welcome. Wait, where is the follow alert? What? There must be follow alert. Let's wait for it. This guy is a big boy. Oh, yeah, here it is. Welcome to the Big Boy Stellaris Club, and welcome, welcome. But what is going on here? I don't understand. Ah, I see. I see. So, here, what is the deal? He wants to defend and finish this one as well. Has he conquered everything here? Everything he needed? It feels like it. Yeah. He just needs to take this system, and that's it. Are these planets taken? Yep, they are.
Okay, Asdrul has taken the territories of Yoshimizu. And all the pops are getting purged here. But that's a 20 size ocean world. Oh. And he has tropical world as his capital. That's interesting. Also, it's aging size. Wow. So he did not went. Oh, wait. Yeah, he did not go for the neb. That's interesting. Even though he's running the On Shoulders of Giants, isn't it like you have to get tier, I mean, size 20 planets anyway? Okay, now Alec. Wait, no, this is Astral. What about Alec? Does Alec have sensors? Oh, it stopped the war, I see. So this is the end of the war. What is Alec gonna do? Have the status quo? Yeah, I guess they did. G10 is still fighting Boris and he has 10k. Oh yeah, this is this is it. Boris has 5k. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, this is it. The mule is finishing his war with Shadow of Soul. Singularity is taking systems of Yoshimizu. Those systems that he can take, uh, because he is in the he has allies, powerful allies. G stand is finishing the war against the AI. And that is it. We don't have any other wars, as for now. Everyone else is just. Uh, literally getting stronger and trying to macro. Actually, Apollo has the biggest fleet as for now. Apollo and Chanabok are two players who have uh, broken through the 20k barrier. Hmm. Oh, I see that Chernobyl is repositioning his fleets here. What is he gonna do? Hmm, has he claimed anything? Not really. Oh, is he waiting for the end of the war between Apollo? Oh wait, oh wait, I have an idea. This is the hive mind. This territory is the hive mind, right? And this is the hive mind as well. Okay, the first empire has been destroyed. That was the Yoshimizu Empire and Singu took two planets here. And these two planets were taken by Mr. Ezreal. So there is a Big chance that we'll see the war between this guy and this guy. Because Mr. TBR is subsidiary under Alec, and Mr. TBR is the best target as for now for Chernobyl. Will he be waiting for uh, better weapons? He has 700 science per month. What about his physics research? Oh, he went for encryption and stuff. Technically, if you can afford this, never do this one. Where is it? This one, Colonial Bureaucracy. Try to ignore it for as long as possible. Because once you do it, it will start feeding your uh, physics research with code breaking and encryption technologies. Okay. I'm okay, Mule. What does it mean? Oh, wait a minute. Okokuro has taken a tribute. That's pain. All right. Wait, Okokuro has 1000 research per month? Oku's portrait is so cute. <laughs> In a, like. Wait, what is this? Where is he going? What is this? Those are some strong ships. Strong fleets. Where is Alec going? Wait, has... Was it... Has Okril taken some... Has, has he taken someone's planet? I guess he has purged other species here. Hmm. 
or has he taken this territory? Yeah, I guess he just has just taken this territory without any wars. But man, what is this? What is this income? Of Alice. Wow, oh, quick please. Bowling, look at this. Oh, Apollo wants to fight Chadabok. Uh huh. That will be an interesting fight. But he just died. This guy is rough. Speaking about the cookie roll. Uh, he must be the next powerhouse. He has just started this way, but look at the science income he has. Technology level almost close to 1k. His technology level is close to Alex, but his economy is way stronger. However, Chernobog is also very strong. What is this? <laughs> People are literally speaking about getting killed, like come on. Wait, is Mule still fighting Shadow Soul? Yeah. Uh there is no way to status quo? I don't understand. I seem to not understand. Okay, Shot of Soul. Where's Shot of Soul? Situation log updated. Any other systems? Oh. Heavy negatives on everything. So if Mule wants it, he could have finished the war right now. He's not doing this. Situation log updated. Okay, he has done this just a second ago. Right, I guess he was making a stockpile of something. Actually, his economy is alright. His economy is more than all right, and he has quite a nice income of science, assuming the fact. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. Claiming is useless for me. Uh, I don't agree with Apollo actually.
Oh shit, I was talking all this time. Yep, he has protons. Fuck me. This is not right, man. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you for notifying that. Let's find me. Yeah, console. What the fuck, man? Were there any claims made by Alec? How, how do we fix this now, man? How do we fix this now? What is even the... Wait, what is even the... How do you call it? The type of war they have. Hey, Mr. Barris. Hmm. All right, so what do we do with this? Fuck. Okay, this is a really hard thing to do right now. Протонки. Протонки были использованы до 50 -го года. О, oh, wait, Barris is still fighting. Barris, you're still fighting against G. Stanley? Holy moly. Okay, and I just need the acceptance. He surrendered? Okay, what is this? This was the war for nothing. <laughs> Paris is still alive? Oh god. This is... <laughs> So, okay, uh, I need to focus a little bit, because this was quiet. Hmm. Alright, so what do we have here? Alec just fought with Console. Console kinda lost, but he's the Tribute. But he will be able to fight again after some time. The problem is he does not have the alley income, and his mineral pri no, his mineral prices are quite okay. Alright. Чернобокс сел хайфа нет. Чернобокс съел другого органика. Чернобок is bowling 250 pops, 15 pops. And he has assimilated uh, Calder Box pops. So he has 50 assimilated and 160 pops. Uh, G. Stanley is still fighting Barras, but he will be the next powerhouse here as well. Look, really is building a lot of ships. He has 17k now. And he's not using his ships, that's a problem. Does he have protons? FK for 10 minutes. 
Which more ship game, also. Why assimilate in the habitat? The void dweller is a mistake. Special project complete. Okokiro has more than 1k of science per month. That's year 45. I know that's not a big... Like, that's, that's not a big uh, amount, but he's a hive mind. And he's producing quite a lot of alloys. He's producing 200 alloys, so... He has a healthy economy. He has 100 minerals per month. Okay, Apollo has decided to attack Chernobog. Chernobog has 5k on top of what? Apollo has... Okay, there will be the battle. The battle is coming. Pop, 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 pop. Is it no retreat? Nope, he's not running no retreat. Oh, his fleets are getting are literally annihilated. The amount of... The amount of ships and... Wait, did he go for... Wait, did Caldebog go for Nord... <gasps> Caldebog went for Nord, right? Wow. What the... F okay, this is strange, but <laughs> he has a lot of alloy income. He can afford this. Distantly still fighting Barus. Oh man, this is a never-ending fight. Check his habitats, just... Он своих попов растит, растит здесь. Eight, seven, eight. Да нормально, что то По-моему, норм. Сто процентов пригодность. Здесь пятьдесят. I think that's okay. Not too bad. Да, клон фабрик нету. 13 еды. Okay, this is a str strange fight between Chernobyl. Okay, wait, someone is attacking the mule? <gasps> Asdrael! Asdrael has attacked the mule, and they have the same amount of ships as for now. Okay, this will be 66 science, by the way. This will be the deciding fight against, I guess. Mule has not claimed. He has not claimed things here. Wait, is there a possibility that Alec will interfere in this fight? I need to check. I need to check their uh, timings. I need to check the. Okay, diplomacy. Where can I check the diplomacy? Da, 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 da.
Okay, let's check where's Alec. Declare war. Year 51. Okay, so Mule has five years before Alec can interfere in these fights. Mule is gathering his forces. He has more. He has a better, way better economy compared to Ezreal, right? Well, actually, Ezreal has a nice economy as well. All of a sudden... Wait, is Barra still fighting with Justine? There's no way. <laughs> God. Wait, and who is... Who is Alec fighting with? Alec is fighting with someone, right? Who is the enemy? Oh, <laughs> actually... Astral is the enemy. What the hell? He's actually helping the mule. Has he claimed something here? No, he didn't. I forgot to press the claim button. Hello. So it's not, Asdor just surrendered. That's it. No problems at all. Situation log. Now they will continue fighting with uh, with mule. But mule is coming. He must be coming. He has 16k, right? Yeah. And his ships are top-notch. Yep. Except for kinetics. Wait, Fabianski didn't leave. He's still there. <laughs> this is so... You had to kill Stanley. Like, they had to kill Stanley. Imagine if they attacked Stanley together. That will be like literally the best case scenario for them both. Yeah, Chernobyl has just built another fleet. But he does not have this. He does not have protons, right? Oh, I cannot I cannot check his Oh no man. I'll not be clicking there just in case. So nothing wrong happens. Situation. Wait, all of a sudden Chav has a Chav has a fleet. What is he doing? <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm, I wonder what is their plan. Okay, I see. This guy must be in trouble. Chav has enough influence, right? Can I check how much it costs? Yeah, they have enough influence for this. This will be a fast attack against... Yeah, he doesn't have enough fleets to defend this. Wait, he's also terraforming? Yeah, this is interesting. He's terraforming into the ocean worlds. Why that? Oh, Mr. Barros, no! Yorha must be Barros, right? 
Yeah, that's bars. Как думаешь, до походов можно достучаться? Я не думаю, что они будут менять баланс по желанию игроков, скорее всего. Тут без вариантов. Look at just Andy now. <laughs> And just Andy is killing Fabianski now. That is it. Ten planets. Oof. This will be hard, people. This will be hard to fight <laughs> just Andy. So the light coming through my window to wake me up wasn't lightning. It was the flashes of ship weaponry firing as you yet again conquer the galaxy. Well, unfortunately, that's not that, that's not me conquering the galaxy. That's some other people doing this, committing some space crimes. But yeah, I'm observing. I'm observing the like the lobby of mostly veteran players, and this must be the first event. Like in the line of Interstellar League, as they called it. I hope this will be a series of events we'll have on weekends. No, I didn't get knocked out. I was observing from the start of the game. I'm casting this game, so that's why this is the approach. I'm not sure for how long this will go, and my my sorry is my throat is sore already. Yes. Actually, casting alone is quite hard, especially when there are some irritations or when you have to watch something else. When you, when you have two uh, or even three people who are commenting, that's way easier. Because like the amount of, of talking is way less and this helps a ton. Justin has 13k of fleet, but he's consuming two other robot empires. Man. He has almost 1.2k of science now, after taking the Barra's capital. Yeah, he just added 400 of science to the pool of his science. Actually, he was making 800, so he was making quite a lot. And now that's Fabianski, who'll be trying to defend, but there is no way. I like that to Protons, prayer 15. Well, not really, but... I mean, he didn't die fully, but... Yeah, he sustained some losses. The funniest part that he did not even have to fight against this dude. He decided to have a subsidiary, but he already had two subsidiaries. So technically this war was for nothing. Yeah, it was kind of my bad that I did not post our usual rules. I did not post our rules about... How do you call it? Rules about protons, but it was like... Uh, well-known thing in ISS server, and it's like this rule is everywhere, but console was not aware of this. Hmm, he's psychic. All right. Hmm, has Chaff declared the war? Wait, what? I don't understand. <gasps> That's Treat who has declared the war against Chav. Wait, no, Chav declared the war against Sirius, but the problem was Sirius had defense backed with Treat, and fleets of Chav were in Treat's territory, so they get pulled away. Kek. He didn't even claim this. Is it a tributary war? Yeah, this is a tributary war. Oh my. I would have I would have claimed this territory. Oops. This is a lost opportunity. How many planets does Chandabok have? He has nine colonies. Okay, how many planets does G Standard have? Ten colonies, but he has almost three hundred pops, and all of those pops are robots, and he'll be getting a lot more now. A lot more now. At the same time, Fabianski has 5k. Fabianski is still fighting. He did not give up. Never give up, never surrender. And he lost in the war against Paris, but he's still hanging on. Yeah, Gistander will be so strong now. 
So we have Charlabog. Okay, let's let's watch on the map. Let's watch on the let's check the okay players map mode. Stanley will be incredibly strong. Chernobog is already strong. Well, actually, Stanley is already strong. Alec is the very aggressive Void Dweller. I guess that he will be taking this territory. He must be taking this territory. Mabonga? Mabonga Nigral. Singularity scaling. Everyone is bored. Like, what is going on? How can he be bored already? Okay, Singularity is scaling, but he has only 150 pops, so there is no way he'll be strong enough uh, to oppose other robots, like big robots, like G. Stanley. Ay, ay, ay. Technically, this is rule break. Situation log updated. Mm. Colony established. It's been 50 years and the crisis hasn't spawned yet. Well, there is already a crisis, I would say. <laughs> the crisis is just Stanley in Chernobog. If Chernobog had a hive mind next to him, he would be the crisis as well. Ah. Ah. Mule, come on. I guess he cannot... He cannot afford losing to Ezreal, that's why he's doing this. Well, he's not using his ships before you're 50. FK one minute? Low. <laughs> his fleets are just going in. We have explicitly said that you cannot equip protons on your ships before year 50. So it's not like do not use them before year 50. You must not equip protons as well anywhere. That's a problemo. I'm pretty sure that Ezreal will try to refit his ships. Hmm, he does not have protons. <gasps> He's desperately trying to get protons. Okay, this will be the problem. He, have, he has to fight on his starbase. He has to fight on his starbase and try to uh, send back the first salvo of Mule. Wait, is he running? He has 21k of fleet power with 160 naval capacity. That's quite a lot. Look, I love that the fleets, like fleet powers, are quite equal, except for Chav. Chav is so strong. How is he doing this? Just trade? Wait, what type of defense and death still? Also, what about Okukiro? That's interesting. Okukiro just has a fleet. He has a fleet, but he's not attacking anyone. He has taken the tribute, and that's it. Actually, that was... He can claim this in attack. Like, there is a hymen next to him, not so far away from him. Is he building habitats? <gasps> he's building habitats? Really? Lol. So, this will be the scaling. This is the scaling situation. Situation log okay, what about updated. this? Rapid deploy. Okay, Mule has rapid deployment, so he does not have no retreat. Can he even have no retreat? No, he, he cannot. The same applies to Ezreal. 13k? Has he rebuilt his fleets? Situation log 30k? Oh, he has built five additional cruisers. I see. Is he running no, uh, defense in depth? No, he didn't run. Hmm. 
he built five cruisers and his fleet power has jumped a, a, a lot. Maybe he has enabled some of the edicts. Oh no, he does not have Protons. He does not have Protonsky. Oh man. And he's running low on energy. Oof. Okay, this will be harsh. He will defend the first wave, most likely. Yeah, he will defend the first wave. Surely. But he'll have issues with his cruisers getting killed. Oh, he is moving in. Ah, he's moving into the edge. No way he's attacking. He must hide behind the station. Oh, the mill is not attacking as well. Situation log. Meanwhile, Chaff is attacking his, his 35k. Oh, is he attacking? He's coming back. Okay. Okay, Fabianski is leaving, I guess, right? Yeah, he has left. Hmm. I have noticed that we did not have a single... <clears throat> we did not have a single disconnect and hot join. That's cool. So, I guess that the most... Imp when the GG's out... Oh, yeah. Chernobog has broken through his his defense. Yeah, this is it. He was running no retreat, I guess. He was not sure about if his enemy has protons or not. He him he himself does not have protons. Yep. Okay, what about claims? What claims does Chernobog have? Oh, he has this claims. Well, technically this is a rule break as well, but assuming the fact that Apollo asked him to attack and he's bored and stuff. Hmm. Wait, what is going on with Mr. Each? Remember when he was really strong? Situation log updated. Okay, I, I just clicked on him right now. Is he fighting someone? There are mild rule breaks all over the place. But... But I guess that's okay. It was expected. Like a little bit. Situation log updated. Okay, so the mule is back into his borders. It's only rule break if you catch them in the mood to punish them, right? Well, yeah. I do agree. Like the scene is that if it's if it's rule break that definitely like breaks the game completely, that would be that would be if it's if it's making the game unfair for some of the players, then you have to intervene and like ask console to like dismantle his fleets and, and such. Oh, he surrendered. Yeah, console surrendered because he used Protons before year fifteen. Uh, Alex suffered losses because of that, but there was no way to fix that. I wonder what is Alex going to do now? Wait, is Alex going? Is Alex going to join forces with? No, no, no way. Is he building habitats? Oh, he has built one habitat at least. Situation log updated. Hmm. Astralu is waiting here, that's... That's scary. This is scary. Situation okay, so Chuff is attacking into Sirius. Into Sirius and who else? And Treat. <gasps> Treat has a lot of fleets as well, wait a minute. <gasps> wow. That's wow. They're going to defeat him, yeah. Man, 
Sirius and Chav, they have a lot of fleets. This this won't be an easy fight for them. Situation log. Okay, I need to fight. I need to, I need to check both sides. Is Chav going to engage? Man, he has 40k. Chav has the biggest fleet right now. What about his ships? He has tracking. That's okay, but he does not have sensors. And he will have a lot of issues fighting against those corvettes. Meanwhile, there's 10k fleet EA. Are you speaking about this one? Okay, where is it? Here. Situation log updated. Okay, Ezreal is not fighting. He's not going in. He's waiting. Uh chaff, 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 chaff. Situation log updated. Has he moved in? Is he moving in? Yeah, he does. Ah, he goes down. <gasps> he wants to outmaneuver them. Oh, and there is a Drake as well. There is no way he'll be breaking through this. <laughs> there is no way. Not a single opportunity. Either, it, okay, I cannot. I cannot check what is there. Uh, well, I, I can check, but I will not be seeing this. I can tell that this is uh, Strikecraft cruisers, right? Yep, Strikecraft cruisers. What about hull, hull points? Without hull upgrades, right? There is some magic happening here. Situation log updated. Hey, Dizzy wants me to play this music. Parental warning. Explicit ly lyrics. Provided to YouTube by DistroKid. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Dizzy, for this music pause. I really appreciate that. I really liked it. I guess I will play it when I'll go to bed today. Call myself, you know, after the stream. Kappa. <laughs> Imagine he listens to this. 24-7. Kek. Yeah, Ezreal, do you have protons? No, he doesn't have protons. No. This sucks. Well, it about love. Oh, that was about love. I see. I see. <laughs> they broke Savage Empire with swines. <laughs> Dizzy never played this. Dizzy plays hive mines. Hive mines and usual robots. And Ukukiru is spamming habitats. How many planets does he have? He, had, he has 8 colonies, but he will have 10 soon. And he has 1.2k of science as well. He has 230 pops. So he is Skyline and he's a tree of life. So he's doing well. He's doing super well. Situation log updated. Okay, it has Chaff engaged. He has 40k of leads. Chaff is super strong. Oh wait. He has guns through. But he does not have armies. Alright, Ap Apollo on YouTube. Uh, by the way, he has his account, he has his channel on YouTube. Go check him out. His empire was defeated by Chonobok. Uh, I wonder what Chonobok is going to do with those pops. Oh, he must, he must assimilate uh, Biotrophies. Yeah. Here they go. Undesirables. I, w I wish that, that robots that are getting purged would give you some sort of alloy income. Okay, certain colonies. G. Stanley. Da, da, da. 10 colonies, but he'll get. Wait, how is Fabianski still fighting against him? Come on. He's fighting back. Damn it. This is the spirit. 
Ubianski is a champ. Okay, that's it. That's the end. This is the end. Wait, the mule has less ships than he had previously? Some edicts, maybe? Not really. Oh, is he taking back these planets? Must be the case. Yeah, wow, look at this army. That's a big army, actually. Okay, any, any changes in fleet powers on the chaff side? Okay, he's going to take this territory, but enemies are going to rush towards him. Also, this map is so strange. Look at this. Such a cluster with only two entrances, one and another. Such a big territory. Imagine if he had army with him here. He would have taken everything here. The thing is that he cannot attack into this. He cannot attack into this territory that it's heavily fortified. Situation log updated. Okay, let me check Esdrel's Empire. Okay, this is full science with tier 1 foundries. This is literally the consuming good production facility, and this is the Ally Foundry. With some administrative perks. Okay. Wait, this is level 1 foundry? No way. No way. He has tier 1 foundry? Wow. That's a big wow. Wow, he still has T1 Foundry. Wait. Forge World is a guy as a Vanford Artem? Oh, wait. You don't have any negative debuff on the LA production? Holy moly, I would never imagine that. Change this to mining world would have helped a little bit, but that's not a big deal. He is retreating. Okay, is Julius going to help him? I mean, uh, Singularity, pardon me. No, Singularity is coming back. Okay, what about armies on this planet? Okay, we all will be taking this planet back. That's. That's 100% possibility. Uh, actually, Chanova has 367 pops, but how many of those? Mad was 67, so he has 300 pops right now. 300 pops he can use as for the moment. Once these pops will get destroyed and this will get assimilated, he'll have a better... He will have a better... Special project. Better chances of building a good economy. The problem is that uh, this Biotrophies pops, look at them. Rapid Breeders and Adaptive. Plus. What is plus? <gasps> oh yeah, that's Fabianski. Oh wait, that was not Fabianski. That was... <laughs> Yuck, am, am I tripping? That was Fabianski's AI. <laughs> okay, what about G. Stanley? 375 pops. Oh gosh, that's not going well. As I said, Situation. This this part of the map was a big problem. It was a big problem for the map for the galaxy. Because there was four three robots, and the problem was Barus was between two. So he had to attack into someone. Can we do a bio break? Uh yeah, sure.
All right, we're going to have a buy break. I'll be right back real quick. Uh, hopefully our players will use it as well. Time to refuel, to get some tea, coffee, etc. Uh, be right back.
All right, I'm back. Hey, Boris. I'm still eating something, so pardon me. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> this tenant does not want me to give away the information about this. About him uh, being so strong. Let's start on... Alright, alright, alright. I'll wait a couple of minutes and then we continue on the fast speed. By the way, Boris, we have been waiting for you. We have been waiting for you, but uh, Mule decided to host and then Magic has. Magic has helped us all. And he's the host now. And his speed is really nice. Like, as usual. We are blessed by having such a person in the community. Like, literally. Also, Boris, I have renamed channel points and I have added uh, sound alerts. So if you have points, you can do some sound alerts on the stream as well. And I'm, I'm hoping to have this type of events and me being a little bit more active with commentary next time. Because this time I'm a little bit, how do you call it? A bit exhausted because of my sleep schedule, but it's getting better. So next time I'm hoping to get the better commentary on what is going on. Arik is fighting someone. Who's Arik fighting with? Is it Mr. Itch? Oh yeah, he's fight fighting Mr. Itch. Whoa, 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 quickly disconnected. What the f Okay, we need to wait. Oh, uh... Okay, here's the first. Oh. I need to message real quick. What the fuck has happened? There is no way he left just like this. Oh, cookie real. Alright, I messaged to Cookie Roll and I really do hope he will come back. If not, well, I see there is a way. There is a way for Chernobog to become a, a really big blob. A really big blob and like the power on the map that will be able to fight against G Stanley. Oh, Cookie Roll is connected. What happened, man? This is so, this is so unlikely, like, the only person, like, one of two strong hive minds on the map, Ukukiril, crashed this moment, like, nah. This is Sage. I 
Okay, I will be not clicking anything as well. Let's wait a little bit. Alright, XX50, we are going to start the game again. This is pure sage. Yeah, if there is a drone, you you always have to cancel the <clears throat> market, all the deals on the market. Otherwise, this will be a problemo. Hmm, he does not he does not answer. All right. Alright, I guess we'll just have to continue. We cannot wait forever, right? Man. Wait, is Jojo in? No way. Oh no, he's not playing. Okay. I really do hope that no one will be clicking anything right now. I really doubt that he... I really doubt that he left on purpose. This must have been some sort of a power surge. Time for another beer. TBR is a madman. Well, while we are waiting, we can check what is going on on the map. Da, 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 da. Actually, Boris, we are missing the hive mines. We are missing the strong hive mines on the map. You could have been the power source. Like There was Yoshimizu, but Yoshimizu got teamed on by Singularity and Azdrael. Actually, Yoshimizu was winning against Singularity. Oh, God. Okay. We cannot afford to wait for like half an hour. Let's wait for three more minutes. And that's it. I'm really expecting something to happen on this front. There must be something happening here. There is no way. Excessive overcrowding right here and come in. Hey, hey there. I always pronounce your nickname with problems. Jubalea. Jubalea. I guess this is the way, right? Your friend is doing fine, by the way. But there is a problem. He is next to a really strong hive mind. And he's playing the hive mind himself. So he's in danger, actually. If I were this guy. If I were this guy. He would be my next target. So I hope that this beer he's having right now will help him. Will help him to make some good decisions. Or maybe in defense against the aggressors. Also, he is a tribute of Alec. Alec has quite some fleets, but not enough to oppose Chernobog. If Chernobog joins G Stanley, that's it. Like the galaxy is done. Come on, no cookie reel. Get back. 
Ah, he didn't say anything. This is usually this is usually the uh, the sign of someone leaving because of internet issues or maybe electricity failure. I have no idea what, where he is from. He always has a beer in the evening. <laughs> what? Ah, another beer. I wonder how many beers he has. Oh no, I was talking about... I was talking about uh, Oko Kirill, the guy who has crashed, most likely. We were waiting for him to respond, but nothing. Nothing from him. После того, как был скучен с Евитор, там было вероятно, что будет еще война в ближайшем времени. А, у него, него довольно-таки большой флот. I was late to watch him because I had to rob gifts. Uh. Well, actually... It's one of the first games that I actually cast, like, on my own. And I do not consider this the best one of my commentaries. I'm a little bit tired already. But looks like an okay game, actually. We had some fights already, but there is no federations. Okay, let me message Magikas and ask him to speed up the game real quick. I'm, not, I'm trying not to be annoying with Magic Ass, because he, he agreed to host for us. And it was like out of the blue. Nothing was, nothing was planned beforehand. Okay, Astral has 36k. Has he... Has he, up, has he upgraded his ships to protons? Hmm. Oh, maybe there is some sort of a trade between... Wait, does he have any... No, they just have... Wait, they have a federation. They have a federation. Wait, has a federation attacked Mule before year 50? Updated. Wait, they have stopped the war. Okay, I'm so confused. So they didn't even fight. I mean, Mule and Mule and Ezreal. Log updated. All right. Okay, Alec is attacking into each territory. And each has taken his territory back. And also Alec is attacking into this empire, right? Oh yeah, there is no claiming line after year 15. So there is no rule break in this. Oh, and yeah, I forgot, maybe... It look it looked like Chernobyl has claimed this territory after year fifty. Yeah, there was no rule break. I, I said that there was a rule break here, but actually it was not. Never mind. My bad. Situation log updated. Chaff? Oh, Chaff is fighting. Oh, nice. Two hundred sixty-six. This is one of the biggest fights. 
that we we had here. Damn it! He has lost only thirty destroyers or so. Huge one. And a lone one, like this is a close one. Okay, he has to retreat. Now he retreats and gets back. Hmm. His enemies definitely lost more than him. That he did. Sky Dragon Independent. Wow, that's a fight. Fuel Tech Industries, hey there. Ah. Uh, these guys, like, Chuff attacked with destroyers, but. This guy, like, this was the fleet of this empire. He had a lot of destroyers. But the scene is that he lost 90 naval capacity. That's 45 destroyers. His enemies lost more. 170. Does he have. Uh, does he have protons? Nope, he does not have it. Okay. Okay, TBR is. Ah, yeah, TBR is fighting someone. Uh, TBR is fighting the target of Alec. Alec has 17k. 17k. Alright. I don't seem to understand what is going on. Ah, okay, occupation army. Mm -hmm. So, the entire army of Alec is on the ground, and each has to build a lot more armies to get this planet back. Well, technically, he does not have to take the planet back. He can leave it like this, and only take the station. Situation log updated. Each has less fleet than Alec. But... Oh wait, yeah, his his ships are not that. His ships are not little at all. Wait, he has some lasers. Oh yeah, this is. Oh no, this is not good. Something tells me that Alec has protons. He must have protons, right? Where is his fleet? Yep. Well, his enemy each. He has a lot of shields and. He has psychic admirals, so he has some additional evasion. Not too much though, still. Uh, okay, just Stanley, 380 pops, wow. 1.5k of research. Charnabok, 900 research per month. Oh, he has less science. But he is... Oh, he's terraforming planets into ocean worlds. Damn, this is nice. This is cool. Yeah, this is super cool. He's going to breed on those planets real fast. Okay, has Chav finished the war? Not, not, not yet. Where are his fleets? Are his fleets still in transit? Yep, they are. Year 57. Hmm. Well, some of them get here and some of them get here. He has a lot of influence as well, he has not used his influence. Situation log updated. Situation log updated. Okay, finally, finally. Ezreal has his protons. Hmm, Ezreal has the I guess he has the strongest fleet right now. Situation log updated. Oh yeah, he definitely has the best fleet on the map. I assume the fact he has protons, he has cruisers. Situation log updated. Oh, and he's researching battleships. Okay, so everything is, is super good with his uh, science. Opa. Missed in velocity. Thank you for your prime and thank you for your follow. Welcome to the Stellaris Big Boy Club. I guess welcome to Stellaris crew as well. Thank you for thank you for your help with the stream. Thank you for your support. Welcome, welcome. And field tech. Holy moly, guys. thank you so much. <laughs> I'm training clothes. Field tech industry, thank you for your 
for your prime as well. Welcome, welcome to the Stellaris Big Boy Club and the crew as well. <laughs> yeah, thank you, that's so pleasant. Damn it, nice, nice. Actually, this gives me additional, like, additional power to continue. I was really depleting, depleting my ability to command, but now I have some additional surge. What is this icon? Miss Net to save? Oh wait, you you just stream yourself, huh? Alright, welcome, welcome, and thank you. I have to pay attention to the game, but getting distracted. Kek. So, so. Actually, there's nothing happening as for now. Treat and Sirius are fighting. They're fighting against Chav, and that's okay. Chav has just received his fleets back. Well, on the part of his fleets, I guess. Oh, and he's coming back. Yeah, he wants more. Uh, I doubt that he will have enough. I can't stream anymore because I moved to an area that can get good enough internet. Well, I almost had the same issue. Like, I used to host a lot for Stellaris, host and stream. And then my internet said, whoops. Yeah, this kind of sucks. I wonder what that area is. At least... At least maybe move into another area, like to another house or flat or apartments. Maybe get some other benefits. What is going on this front? G Stanley is having a lot of issues with the market. Look at this. Oh, look at this amount of his buying. Jesus. He's buying 200 minerals per month. This is just... <laughs> the price he's paying is... 500 and but actually he doesn't care he's making 100 1200 energy from jobs Jesus, he's so strong right now that's incredible about a house in the rural area oh i see well fresh air fresh air stuff i guess it it's worth more than just having like actually no i would not like if someone told like proposed me to Swap my current location for the for the house somewhere where internet is not that great. I guess I would not agree. Is ah, when you, when you spend your entire time in internet, it's really important to have a good connection. He's, yeah, he's producing a ton. What is his? What? How many of his worlds? I would have disabled some of this income, but he doesn't care. He just doesn't care. Oh wait, he has disabled this one. <laughs> I was about to ask about... I was about to ask about Starlink. Well, if it's going to be like active and operational in, in your area, that's the best the best way to solve the issue. That my, my voice is cracking already, that's not good. Situation log updated. Yeah, what about each? Where is each? Alec has a ton of ships. Oof, each has to go back. Planetary invasion begun. Did they fight each other? I guess they they had a fight. Okay, he has lost. Yeah, he has lost the engagement. Oof. At the same time, Alec does not have time to fight against this EA. Okay, what about each? What about his technologies? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is it. <sighs> Wait, does Alec have job drives? Really? Wow, that's super cool. No, he doesn't. No jump drives. How did he get there? Has he cycled around somehow? He has a ship. 
Oh, I guess he has sent some ships through the territory of Mule. Wow, this is super cool. Now, each... Like, look at the each, each economy. <clears throat> this is what happens when the Merchant Void Valor or Merchant Empire gets guess it's uh, Starbase is taken. That's it. That's GG. <laughs> Nothing can solve this issue. This is like... Minus 88 consuming goods. That's worse than United... Uh, not United States. Uh, USSR. How, how do you... A Union of Soviet Socialistic Republics, right? This is worse than, than USSR. Regarding consumer goods gag. Poor each. I guess that each will be losing his planets. And actually, Alec will be strong. Yeah, he'll be strong. He waited for ER 50 to claim without the claiming line. And now he has an opportunity. Enemy troops landing. He has an opportunity to expand his territory quite. quite hard, I would say. He has claimed at least two planets here, right? Let me check it once again. Yeah, two planets here and two systems here. I guess that each has more than. Each has more than three habitats, right? One, two, three, four, five. Five habitats here. Six habitats. Each has six habitats. But the problem, like, his problem is that he's fighting the losing war. Alec has more speed. And he's using that. Sirius is living. Oh, their war is over. Situation log updated. I don't think Alec can match Stanley's killing. No, there is no way. Uh, he can be strong. He can be strong and he can have a fleet enough to fight against like one wave of someone on the map. But that is it. Stanley is literally pumping all his economy into science, right? I didn't say that he was... Ah, okay, so... This is what he's doing. He's buying only when the price is lower than 2 energy per 1 alloy. Oof. This looks so grim for the economy. This looks so grim. That's incredible. I mean, like, he has to put some time into... Like, this spiral when you did not have enough minerals, this must be broken as fast as possible. I would start with, yeah, I would start with uh, disabling some fabricated jobs at this point, because this can actually, uh, you can actually suffer from this. Having too much alloys is, yeah, some may say that having too much alloys is impossible, but in this case, I'd better have more science per turn. Situation log updated. Because Chernobog has the same amount of alloys. And he has not consumed other empires, but he has 1.2k of science himself. And how much species? Oh man, he has to. He has to deal with a lot of species. This is his own pops. Uh, Void Valor pops. Biotrophies. Bowls. And what is this? Zerons. Does he have some relics? Nope. I wonder why is he not, like, in his place, I'd claim this, like, right away. Is he building some habitats? Oh, wait. He's terraforming this into the Hive World? Wow. He already has the access to Hive Worlds? Wow. Okay. Chernobyl will be strong AF, and if he gets this guy... That is it. Like, he'll be Astron as Stanley, at least. I love how he plays. Like, the way he plays is so cool. He doesn't care. He just scales. He just scales. There is a planet. I'll take it. No problem. I tried Mercantile Habitat for the first time this past week. I feel like a thief. Yeah, I wonder why.
Oh, ma 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 mia. Mule is also struggling with economy. Oof. Oh, he's building agriculture districts. Okay. Once he have enough, once he have enough foods, he will not have issues. But oh wait, he has invested in science. Will has. And there is an angry void dweller next to him. Is he building stuff here? He's building inhabitants. Oof. I would not do this. The funniest part of this map is that G. Stanley and Chernobog are next to each other. The okay, Alec is coming in. Okay, that is it. I guess it is it. That's, this is the end of Empire of Mr. Itch. Well, he still has a fleet. But his fleet is not sufficient enough to fight against Alec. Has Alec finished his ascension? Oh, unity is a big issue for him. Is there a chance he can put in marketplace of ideas? How much is he making? 100 from trade, oof. Okay, there is a fight, wait. Oh no! Actually... Oh, I see, there is an allied fleet against Alec, actually. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. They're waiting. They're waiting for Alec. Oh, wait, has Alec attacked? No, Alec is a defender, so this dude has attacked him. And what has he claimed? Shock it to Phil. What has he claimed? Nothing. Wait, what is that? War, war of expropriation? Wait, is it the... Wait a minute. Is it the Megacorp? No. Ah, okay, I see. Wait, wait, there is a fight coming? Oh yeah, Alec is a criminal. Yeah, yeah. Is he going to lose some? Ah yeah, he surrendered. He surrendered. <laughs> he surrendered. That's that's a nice move. He literally took away one of his enemies and surrendered to another. Yeah, they had a chance. They had a chance if Alec misplayed that, but he played it well. He surrendered to like actually what he lost. A little bit of uh, branch offices on the planets, and that's it. All these ships were for nothing. Oh, actually, this these ships are not that well advanced in technological level. Situation log updated. Channel lock has neutron launchers. And hive mines. I mean, hive worlds. Is he selling something? He's buying a lot of food. Okay, the price of the food will be so high. And he's selling four consumer goods. Uh, interesting. The amount of values he's making is just insane. He has to. He has to build some energy facilities. He has rebuilt half of his stations into anchorages. Look at this. Yeah, channel walk is extra strong. Imagine if he pounced. Imagine if he pounced on G. Stanley. In his place, I would have done this. Because, like, literally, the only big, like, the only, uh, the only player that can be a threat to him is here. Hey, Ark, yeah, this is this is what I'm thinking about. Like, why didn't he attack G. Stanley? G. Stanley is sitting there. G. Stanley has consumed two robot players. He won't they can't assimilate each other pops. Uh, not really. He killed another rock savager here. So he can he can assimilate uh, 
buy a trophy of just standing. But it's not about actually getting. It's it's not about getting more pops. It's about killing the robot, because robot's strong. I mean, he doesn't have a fleet now. I guess it. Chandlebox sees the fleets. Yeah. The only problem that, the only problem that uh, G Stanley has is the amount of minerals he's making. Wait, Stanley is Rock Savitar? Yeah, Stanley is playing Rock Savitar. Have you played with him? I know that he usually plays... Uh, in his lobbies, he usually plays... Uh, driven assimilators. I guess you can assimilate. You can you can assimilate uh, driven like driven assimilators pops as well. Oh no, can you assimilate pops of the cybernetic? Yeah, I guess you can. I guess you can assimilate this cybernetic pops as a higher mind. I might be wrong though. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. So actually, Mule, Asdrill, and Singu are now the part of the Federation. Huh. Yeah, on g -Tennis, in, in g -Tennis, uh, place, I would cut the production of alloys. Does anyone have Ecumenopolis up? Nope, not even close. The game was quite hectic. Like, there was, there was Fabianski, Boris, and G. Stanley here. Boris attacked into Fabianski and killed his fleets. And then G. Stanley attacked into Boris. And there was like a lot of like, actually G. Stanley took this planet not so long ago, maybe like 10 years ago. Like, give or take. So they, they were not uh, doing it perfectly. Um, he's waiting for something. Maybe he's waiting for some technologies. Wait, he does have outer research? No way. Uh, I know that Chandlebok waits. There is a claim. What? There is a claim by G. Stanley on Chandlebok's planets? What the hell? <laughs> what? Yeah, like, I I wanted to see them unemploying their jobs, but they didn't. They wanted to assemble. But, Boris, you were running no retreat, right? That first fight in your capital? Not capital, like... <laughs> that first fight in Fabianski capital? You went no retreat there? It was a really long fight. It wasn't like a one fellow swoop and that's it. Chernobyl definitely have to attack. What their what was their fleet sizes here? Thirty. It wasn't too much, around ten k, I guess. Nine k, ten k, something like this. Yeah, ten k, I guess. Yeah, said exactly. Fabianski went for no retreat for some reason, I have no idea why. He went for no retreat and he, his cruisers lost to destroyers of Barras. And that was it. That was end of the story. Oh, I totally forgot about making save games, Jesus. Oh, my previous uh, save game was 30 years before that. Yikes. I wonder what is Chernobyl waiting for? Singularity managed to find First League. Where is it? Da, 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 da. Oh, this one. Fan Habanis. Relic World 25 size. Oof. Hmm. 
he can literally give this give this planet to one of his allies and they will make an Ecumenopolis right there. Okay, what about Astral? Actually, Astral is, is not playing his beloved Void Dwellers, but he is doing really well. He even went into Diplo and he's doing the, the Flash's weak pass. Wow. Harmony? I guess for the Edicts? Special wow. Project complete. Interesting. Okay, Alec has taken. Oh, mama, 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 mia, mama, mia. Minus 71, why is that? Why is that? Trade? Oof. Okay, this is <laughs> this is a problem of Void Dwellers. Why is Uku an AI? He just dropped. I messaged him, no response. He just dropped out of nowhere. He was super strong. He has a lot. He had a lot of pops. Situation log. Update. Yeah, look at his flits. It's a yay. <laughs> look. Wait, what? Four K of science. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's serious. <laughs> Yikes. His planets are so well done. And he was building habitats. He was in the process of building habitats when he disconnected. <laughs> this is what happens when a strong player disconnects, but his empire gets bonuses from Admiral AI. Oh yeah, perfect AI. Mineral habitat, yeah, let's build research labs here. Let's go. Okay, let's check, 12.5. How much is he getting from the bonuses? 170 from Empire, oof. Okay, so that's like... Bonuses here, it's 20%. He's getting at least 100% from the Bonuses from the uh, AI difficulty. <laughs> Imagine now he gets back, takes his fleets. Like, okay, I'm going to fight everyone around me. Actually, actually, that was quite sad, Arv, that he didn't join you and Tango Yankee. Maybe next time. Because now we have a bot. We have a bot who also had two bots next to him. And that's G. Stanley. If you were there, one of these three guys, I guess that it would be you here. Big Arch Blob, as usual. Next to Chernobog. Chernobog has 60k, but he's not doing anything with them. That's strange. Wait, he has. Oh, lol, it's the name Ecumenopolis. Lol, I was like, he has an Ecumenopolis? What the fuck? Yeah, Tank is traveling, yeah, I know. I messaged him and he told me that next time he will be ready to play. And that's a lot of planets here. Battleships, wow. He went into the divided attention. What? That's that's quite strange, but memorialist, subspace and phase, and divided attention. Yeah, that's interesting. He also ump it with domination. Like the next is domination. Hmm. Divine C and Menaldron output. How many edicts does he have? He has four edicts out of four. Capacity subsidies, mining subsidies, force subsidies, and fortify the border. This one is not, not that important, I guess. Okay, where is the planet that he's making into the... This one? High world?
Oh, commentary. Umar, hi there. Thank you for nine months. <laughs> Do you know an idiot safe non RNG method of beating Reguness? <laughs> Reguness is in chat. <laughs> what has happened? Have you played against against him in Flotilla game? Oh. Well, if you play it StarCraft, StarCraft 2, I would say just play like Maru. Check. I would say that's playing as a hive mind is the way to go. I will make I will make the video in a couple of days. Make the guide on the hive minds. Reconess is a B man. Like he loves to meme a lot. So if you're playing some bulletproof build, then most likely uh, you will be able to at least to fight him on the same ground. Like on equal ground. Yeah, I would say that playing rock savitors or playing the hive minds is the way to go. Maybe even resource consolidation, if you wish. Damn, I'm getting more and more tired. Like, what the hell is this? Hmm, it's only... It's only 10 p.m. Did you say way, play trade and become a tribute of a really good megacorp? Uh, well, it looks like becoming the tribute is not... Like, it feels like becoming the tribute is not the way to... Uh, beat someone, <laughs> if you know what I mean, but... In this way, yeah. Actually, being the megacorp is a way to make people want to cooperate with you. If you're a good megacorp, a lot of players will love to play with you. Oh, Ark, you have an idea of bio build? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, is it the build you were talking about in, like, meta discussion channel? Like the Necrophage with... Necrophage with uh, Spiritualist? Because actually, Necrophages have been doing really well this game. For instance, Buell was doing really well. And he's now doing really well. well. Okay, g Standard has started building his fleets. And he's super strong. He has 2k of signs. Okay. He's building habitats? Oh man, that's it. I guess that Chandabok has... Chandabok has lost his chance. He has to pounce right now. Situation log updated. Where is he putting his allies into, I wonder? Is he selling his allies? He sold 50k of alloys. What the hell? Okay, I see where he at his alloys went to. Well, uh, Situation log. I see only one way. I see only one way uh, for Gestende to get outscaled is to get outscaled by this federation. But if Gestende... Actually, I guess it's... <laughs> Gestende can ally with Chanabog. If he lies with Chanabok, that's it. They will outscale that fed. But at the same time, singularity. 1.5k of science. He's Gucci and he has quite a stockpile of allies. And he's a really good macro player. Gistani has 440 pops. And he has enough of minerals now. Is he still buying? Alright, now Alec will be even stronger. Man, G. Stanley will be making tons of monies. Actually, assembly speed is not that high across the board. What about Singularity? Is he assembling his pumps at a really high level? Has he upgraded his... Yeah, he has upgraded his machine assembly complexes. Actually, look at this. His pop assembly speed is real good. Man. Singularity is scaling, I love it. The start of the game was really rough for him. Jo Yoshimizu attacked into him and almost took him down. Alec has a chance now. Uh, let me check. Ooh. Hmm. 
This is the problem of bioconquest. Look at this. Look at this. Wait, is it connected? Minus 53 amenities. Okay, amenities are definitely an issue here. Also, wait, what? Factory world? 3 point. Okay, I would have put some clerks here. At least 12 amenities would have helped. Oh, he has an rest. Oof, okay. Minterium. Okay, so top 5 empires at this moment. G. Stanley, Chernobog. Uh, Singularity, Mule, Alec. Okay, where is Estrel? Huh? Situation log updated. Why is it like this? Actually, I know that the mule has been has he has been uh, building habitats, right? Yeah, he's building habitats. Ah, you see, he has a fortress habitat here, so <laughs> there is no <laughs> there is no one attacking through this wormhole. Speaking like no one, it's Alec, obviously, because Alec attacked him already once. All right. Chernobog is preparing for the fight. The question is, whom is he going to fight with? He could have taken down this hive mind. He has a hive mind next to him. Like literally, there is a hive mind. Just get here and take it. Take it, but. Oh, three robot empires, three machine empires in one place. Oof. Oof. 14 colonies. Well, at least it's 14 colonies. It's not like 30 colonies. Hmm. I wonder whom G. Stanley attacks next. Actually, Chernobog is the best. Like, Chernobog is the best target for him. A lot of planets. And he will not be getting Hivement Pops as Biotrophies, so there will be no problems with the abundance of Biotrophies. And he has fixed his mineral income, right? This number is like 1.4k from jobs. Like, man, what is this? Also, does he have any equipment policies up? And he has a Memorex. Man. He has a Memorex. Where did he get it? I don't see excavations. What? Wait, <laughs> where is one eggs Belen? Is it it? Oh, it is. Never mind. Never mind. Here's one eggs Belen. Wait, that was the territory of Fabianski. That was Fabianski's territory. Huh. Okay. That's sweet. Okay, he has 450 pops and he has 7... 14 colonies, right? Okay, what about Julius? Oh, Singularity. He has 15 colonies already. That's 300 pops, but his pops are getting assembled at quite a high speed. Do they have a... F okay, they do not have a Federation fleet, but... Actually, he's making 300 of allies. He's making a lot of allies. Yeah, Julius, this thing, okay, actually, I know this guy is Julius loves Juvia, but he recently renamed him into Singularity, that's why sometimes I, I call him Julius. Yuck. Singu is going to be strong as well. Actually, the fact that Mule uh, decided to ally with Asdrael, even though they were fighting each other. <laughs> Commander Omar, Regunas is not happy. <laughs> Reckoness, stop. Stop making Commander Umar look for builds to defeat you. Kappa. Have you finished the game with have you finished the game with the boys? Reckoness was playing I guess it was you, right? You, APO, Strat, other dudes. I guess they haven't played with uh, like their community. YouTuber community. Multiplayer. Slackfest, but it was funny. 
Special project complete. Anyone wants to buy alloys? One alloy for eight minerals? Come on, man. Are you kidding? Mineral merchants located at 7 o'clock outer rim. Heck. Spumped titans and caps. Jesus. Well, actually, Chernobog is number one. But what is he going to do with his fleets? I don't see... I don't see what, he, what are his targets. Pepe Crystal Destroyer Kek. Titans are like, if you're massing Titans, it's more about sending the message. It's not about winning the war, it's about sending the message how strong you are. Like, I don't care. It's almost as bad as building cruisers, like uh, Strikecraft cruisers without any armor or shields, like pure hull destroyers without crystalline armor, without anything, and getting utterly wrecked. How many allies is Stanley sitting on? I guess he has at least 50k, 45k of allies. Uh, how many shippers does he have? He has only uh, 12 modules. Oh, and actually these modules are close to... Man, actually, like, if Chandabok attacks him right now, G. Stanley will die with all of his alloys. Unless he has... No, he doesn't have... Wait, what is this? Archaeological site? Minerals from jobs on this planet? Ha! <laughs> Yikes. Even... even... Even now he's making 9.5. Diplomatia. Do you think they are allies? Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. Okay, Chernobog and Jastanli are best friends now. Chernobog is supplying... Uh... Yeah, look at this. Alright, so these two boys will be playing together, I guess. And the, like, if they attack, like, if they attack Alec now, that's it. That's the death. That's all my my Shindir and any, right there. I wonder if this, if this federation, has a chance. Does it look like it? Okay, let me check. Chanamoku, situation. What's in one K? You have to use it somewhere. I would have used it here. Look at the amount of habitats, and those are habitats of the hive mind. It's not just usual habitats, but the habitats of the hive mind. And this dude has claimed something? Wow. Okay, can he claim? Oh, he needs some influence. Hmm. 125. Is it the defense habitat? That's a huge planet right here, man. Wow, it's just sitting there waiting to get taken. At a hive on Pot Alekam. This hive meant is a subsidiary of Alec. But Alec's fleet is not a problem. I mean, Alex fleet is not a problem for Chernobog. Alex has 30k, and Chernobog has close to 90k. And he's continuing to produce fleets. Hmm. Okay, let's check Mr. TBR. Look at this beautiful planet. Look at this beautiful planet and this beautiful pops. Phototropic, aquatic, budding, everything. Everything as it must be. Everything is good here as well. Let me check his planets. Me. Oh, he does not have a specialized planet. He does not have a specialized planet for the production of science, though. Like a secondary planet. That's the amount of science that he has. 
But everything is... Like here, civics, trades, everything is good. What about his ascensions? Oh wait, he went technological ascendancy, one vision. Wow. Okay, I see. So he has not ascended yet. That's that's the issue. But he's building habitats. Like literally, he's such a good target. Okay, what about Alex Fleet? Does he have the jump drives? The galaxy, like the galaxy is peaceful. Look at this. Not a single war. Wow. So peaceful. Uh, not so long. Not for long, I guess. I wonder what will be the next move. Who is going to be the aggressor? Will Chav try another one, another time? Oh wait, what is this? Rebels? Oh, rebels of him? Interesting. How did it happen? Now we have rebels. Hello there, rebels. <laughs> that's a... <laughs> that's a habitat. Kek. There is literally a rebelled habitat. Inactive civics. Parliamentary system, nationalistic zeal. Yeah, that's that's a perfect a, the perfect choice for separatists. This civilization came into being when it rebelled and seceded from another empire. All right. Actually, I would know. It looks like mechanist, right? Situation log updated. It literally looks like mechanist. Log updated. The funniest part is that Chaff is doing so well and he's a mechanist. He did not start with uh, some meta. Like meta empire. Military pioneer and warlike. Alright. He's playing the democracy. Wait, he has synthetic evolution already? With 900... And he's not making the research? Bruh. Oh, whoa, fucking hell. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. I forgot to enable this. What the hell? <laughs> That's literally bruh. He has synthetic evolution. Ah, yeah, he's mechanist. Lol, I'm dumb. Yeah, of course. He is mechanist. And on top of that, he's, he has a flash is weak. Oh, he's making the project. He just started making the project. And he has Gargantua as well. Hmm, and for some reason he didn't kill these drones. Alright, alright. Damn, this is actually cool. Let me check his technologies. Synthetics and synthetic personality, personality magics. Holy shit. Okay, that's that's an interesting tech roll right there. Okay, Chernobyl and G. Stanley have 150k together. And Singularity Mule and Asdrail Federation has close to 130. Oh, Voltaum Home System. Empire Hoverine. Wait. It's here? No way. Situation log updated. Oh, ah, okay, here it is. When I clicked on it, it showed that that system was Somewhere in Alex space. Look at Alec, 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 Alec. <laughs> Alec is everywhere. He's doing pretty damn well. Two K science. That's a reasonable amount of science as well. Nice, 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 nice.
Advanced Habitats, nice. How many? He has 15 colonies. The only problem is that pops are not growing, right? Minus 2.7. Yikes. Wait, he... Panuri? Uh... Ah, Plantoids. That's why they're getting as... They, they have the assembly somewhere. I killed the dimension of horror and I didn't get the jump drives. Huh. Do you always get it? Or is there like a chance? I have no idea. I usually just kill it for the sake of killing it and that's it. Is Alec gonna extend it? Oh, I guess only if he wants to get killed. Stanley has twice the amount of leads he has. No amount of uh, trickstery will help in this situation. However, maybe... Wait, what about his speed? What about just Stanley's fleets? Let me check it. Well, his, his ships are quite fast as well. 224. Alex are, are faster, updated. I guess. 420, so, oh yeah, these dudes, tier 4, uh, tier 4 thrusters, tier 2 afterburners, and I guess it's rapid deployment, yeah, of course, rapid deployment. Oh, defragmenter. Oh, he has fleet expansion, by the way. Cool, cool. Defragmenter, and what else? Obviously, edicts. Oh, no, he, he doesn't even have the edict. Six hour mark. Hmm. For how long have I been streaming? I have been streaming for four hours. And I didn't stream the start of the game. Situation log updated. Okay, let me let let me ask Magikas if he will be able to to host for us for a little bit longer. That we talked about. It looks like that players want to continue for a little bit longer. Well, I don't understand why Singularity wants to continue for a little bit longer. 26 size Relic World here. And there must be another one. In Fen Habanis. 25 here. <laughs> Jesus. He has two Relic Worlds in his empire. Imagine if he gives one or both of his relic worlds to his allies and they restore the echo. Holy smokes. This will be huge. 
Kill Clarus Leak? I wonder what was that? Oh man, this this looks so much better. Why? Why was <laughs> I didn't even put this one? Okay, two AIs, right? No, pain, pain. Ah, it's not an AI. It's any Uku is AI, and that's why pain, pain's color is like AI's color. Sirius has left. Grit is terraforming all the stuff. And also there is metal, living metal. Oh. I wonder about Chandabok, what are his plans? Situation log updated. Okay, he has a high world. 45. Wait, this is an insane income. 9.9, 9.8 out of 9 minerals. And that's balanced production. Production. Holy shit. Okay, I see. I see. But his science is not that good as Stanley's. Situation log updated. Hmm. Alec has the same Situation amount of science as Stanley, updated. even more than that. But his uh, his economy is not as strong. Subject taxes, though. Holy moly. <laughs> Mr. TBR is paying like an incredible amount. And console as well. He has battleships. Oh. Okay, I didn't check console. Actually, console Situation is strong as well. Updated. He's making 200 alloys. But his stockpile is not that great. What about ship designer? Cruiser battleship? Uh huh. His battleships are cool. His battleships are not that bad. And there is. There is a, like, a shortcut to his territory as well. <laughs> this is quite interesting. Like two wormholes next to each other, leading to almost the same, the same place. Like this one and this one. Like literally from here. And that's it. Do we have any other wormholes? Oh, here's one. Mm -hmm. Chernobyl has more than 100k, and he's continuing to build up his fleets. And I do not understand what he's what is he waiting for. Maybe he's waiting for some influence. Best case scenario is to take this system. Wait, he's on isolationist. Ah, okay, I see. Hmm. Oh, and he has stopped the trade with G Stanley. I see, I see. Situation log updated. Okay, what is G Stanley doing? Okay, G Stanley has studied the Equinopolis. He also has a Memorex here. Huh. Once this is done. <laughs> Look at this economy. Look at this economy. Jesus. <laughs> Yikes. Almost 1k of minerals. He can literally produce more than... He can produce close to 1.5k of alloys after his Ecumenopolis is done. Oof. He'll be... No, he will also be improving his production of science quite fast. Hmm. This is absolute madness. This economy is absolute madness. Oh, he has studied some. Oh wait, he is preparing. Shh, he's preparing.
That's strange. He had. <clears throat> it felt like he had a way bigger stockpile. What happened? Has he sold some? 20k? Situation log updated. I'm trying to I'm trying to have an idea of what is going to happen next. Okay. They're in the system. No orders. In in the place of Chernobog, I would have put a station here. Gather some influence and claim stuff. Wait, look, 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 look. TBR is moving somewhere. Oh wait, Chav has started another war. What is that now? Who is he fighting with? Oh, he's fighting. He's fighting with the with the AI. Has he claimed anything? Yeah, he has done the claims this time. He will be able to get this without any problems, unless Mister Treat is going to intervene and do the same stuff he did. Well, he didn't do this on purpose. It was. Chav, who had his fleets in in his ter in in Treat's territory, who attacked Treat, I mean Sirius, and after that his fleets were jumped away from the territory of these two allies. One hundred twenty k from Chernobog. He is just building his fleets nonstop. He's not using them anywhere, but he's just building them. If if I see that there is a uh, construction ship moving here. It's a really like bright sign that there will be a war between Chernobyl and BR. It has been a long time coming, to be honest. Like really, 125. Oh wait, there is my like one, two. Okay, this 400 influence. That's enough to claim this. And these two systems, and that's it. You don't need to claim anything else. Maybe this one as well, but it's not a big deal. Oh wait, no, you don't need it. There is no claim line. So, 125. It's like 350. 550. 700. In five years, there must be war here between these two players. There must be. Oh, maybe I don't understand something. Kappa. <laughs> uh, wait, is the AI going to desync the game? <laughs> yeah. Imagine if AI of Kirill opens L gates and desyncs the game. <laughs> this is the ultimate dead hand troll. Hmm, there will be a rebellion. There is going to be the rebellion.
Oh, it's it's in Mr. TBR's territory. Never mind. It's not in Alex's territory. Hive Minds, Robot Player, Robot Player, Void Dweller. Wait, how is Console? Oh yeah, Console is making quite a lot of science, right? 1.8k. And L Income is quite healthy as well. Ship Designer. His ships are strong. Mm. I'm pretty sure that he's going to build the... Like the fortress habitat here. I'm pretty damn sure about this. So there is no way someone can jump into his territory through this wormhole. And looks like this federation has closed borders. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Situation. The mule, Ezreal, and Singu. How much do they have? 120? 130? 200k. Them two. Within three. And G Stanley and Chernobog, 220. Whoops. I feel like there is going to be a war soon. Hmm, Tibia is moving. Oh, you see this? You see this? Aha. Uh -huh. There is something about to happen. I can feel it. Situation log updated. <laughs> Imagine if the whole galaxy jumps on G Stanley. <laughs> like, no, the bot will not win this game. No. Situation log updated. Like, in this dude's place, I'd guarantee each other. I will, I would literally guarantee each other. Singularity is close to 400 pops. He's producing a ton of pops. He has 16 colonies. Ooh. Generation law. Oh. Situation log updated. Cockroaches awaken psionic abilities. Okay, Alec is now the psionic. Officially. Okay. I wonder if he has really good admirals. I guess he has. Oh, yeah. He has fought a lot. And his generals. Army damage plus 15%. Oh, well, I mean, army morale damage plus 15%. Army morale plus 15%. This admiral, though, look at this. Gale speed. So you have. Evasion from here, and evasion here, plus 20% evasion. That's a ton. I wonder if the Federation has some fleets. Uh, fleets? No. Hmm. Wait, uh, do you need tier 3 to get the Federation fleet with a research Federation? Because I'm such a noob when it, when it comes down to Federations. Oh, this one. Requires centralization to be medium or high. Okay, yeah, level 3. You need level 3 to get fleets. I see, I see. Hmm. Yeah, this is a cool. Yeah, Alec has. I mean, um, Singu has a really strong fleet. Like this, like all three of them, are they moving their fleets together? Situation log updated. Singu is Singu is making three hundred forty hours per month. Situation more than G Stanley, less than Chatterbox. 
I have a feeling that Consul will be declaring the fight against against uh, Alec soon, quite soon. Oh wait, he's independent. Did he ask for independence and Alec just freed him up? Oh, that's interesting. What is the AI difficulty? Uh, Admiral. How much time? Log updated. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Oh, huh, where is Stanley moving his plates? Okay, that's interesting. He's going back. There is an army here. Is he building armies? Not really. His echo is like. Halfway done, yeah. Alright. I actually have an Ecumenopolis with the Memorex. The only problem is the size of the planet. 19 size, it's not like the best. Still, you can make like close to 1,000 one alloys from this planet alone. You don't even need additional planets for that. Has he studied another Ecumenopolis? Uh, armies. Bottle frame armies. All right, yeah, here's his, this is his defense tactic. He has a, like, fortress habitat right here. Situation yeah, look at this. Updated. <laughs> yeah, look at this. It will be quite hard to break through this habitat if he attacks someone, so this, like, his entire territory is defended unless, unless someone has jump drives. And Alec is Situation the best. Updated candidate to have the jump drives on his ships or to be close to this technology oh so he is he's on the level of repeatables and he is also researching megastructure restoration all right all right the size science is close to three thousand per month two point eight k Singularity is a little bit ahead, 3.2. Well, actually, Asdrael is has 3.2 as well. <laughs> AI of Okukirvil has 6.2k, Jesus Christ. What the... <laughs> Lol. <laughs> this AI is miles ahead of everyone. It has the same... No, it has more economy strength than, than Julius. Uh, I mean, Singularity. And twice the science. This is scary. <laughs> this is a scary, eh? Yeah, I don't understand that. That's because of the bonuses that the Admiral difficulty board has, but still. Actually, this ships are not that bad. But like full kinetics, what the? F Doesn't have Titan somewhere? The AI has close to 500 naval capacity. Wow. Alright. Do we have a single player with the same amount? g Standard has the cl amount close to this. Yeah. Chernobog? Same, the same. He has not taken this system yet. I wonder what. Okay, here we go. Oops. Situation oh, I guess I could like just tend to have the defense pact. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, it's G. Stanley and Alec against the Federation. Wow. That's wow. Huh. 
Huh, why are they here? Why are they stockpiling here? Situation log updated. 200k of fleets and TBR. 230, okay. Single has close to 80k. 72k from Mule and 73k from... Oh wait, this must be the jump drive technology? Yep, this is the jump drive. Okay. Hi Mule and Ezra. <laughs> this must be the defense habitat, right? No? He has to be really careful. Ezreal has to be really careful. Imagine if his enemies have jump drives. That's it. That's GG. You get you get jumped on, and that's it's over. Like it's over. Literally, like in seconds. Situation log updated. Okay, this is fun. This war will be fun. Huh. Whom have they claimed? I guess Mule has claimed them, right? No? Is it Asdrill? No? This is the only claim? No freaking way. No way this is the only claim. Oh no, 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 this is not the only claim. Now Justin is ahead of Charno. Justin is going to win the lobby if he does everything right. The thing is that we don't we will not have one single winner. Uh, it will be like the Formula One system Enemy where like landing. we'll have to think about it, like the amount of the amount of uh prize places. Ezrael, you, you really have to evacuate your forces. Right now. Why is he? What is he doing? He's suiciding. He must jump. Wait, what? What is this? <laughs> what is this army? <laughs> what? Oh yeah, he's jumping away. Oh yeah, that's true. Situation log updated. Yeah, this is a cool war. I like it. Like, five big players fighting with each other. And that's way more interesting than usual lobbies where everyone is fighting for himself. I love it. Look at this. Thank you, Mr. Jubilea. Thank you. Yeah, see ya, see ya. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you here. See you next time. I will be going to bed quite soon as well, but I really want to see what this war is going to, where this war is going to. This is elite lobby. I mean, elite. Okay. Do they all have the same admirals? Oh, okay, so, wait. Is Singur running the no retreats? No, not yet. Okay. Situation log updated. China has better economy per pops. Uh, this is only until Gistende has the echo. Once Gistende has the echo, that's it. It's over. He will he'll be making like 1.2k of LS per month. Compared to journal. He's making a surplus of minerals, like a huge amount. Situation log updated. And there is no way Chernobok will be able to make more than like 600 700 situation log updated singularity has 1.2k wow i mean 100 120k oof well where is his another fleet he must have another fleet
situation log updated. Okay, I wonder why. What is going on with his planets? He has way more science. Com he has way more science compared to Chernobyl. Situation log Maybe not. Updated. No, not, not way more. Wait a minute. What about Alec? How much situation does he have? Log updated. Situation log updated. He's mismanaging his planets. Hmm. I guess they're hesitating. They do not know where to go. Right? They are following Alec. Here. Okay, is it a big... Oh, this is a big territory. Holy moly. I mean, th there is a lot of habitats here. Situation log updated. Well, to be fair, Chernobyl has some void dweller species. This one's they're incredibly productive. And he has wait, he does he did not finish his or did he? No, he has finished his evolution master and he has the high world as well. At least one. 10.4 alloys from 10 minerals for a hive mines. He could have rebuilt even this one. And imagine if he puts his, this world to 100 stability. Situation log okay, what about just 10 lane? Ecology. Mineral. Well, I wouldn't say that they are so mismanaged, but not so bad actually. No, his worlds are pretty nice. Not all of them, though. Maybe. Well, this mineral world is okay, totally okay. Hmm. What is this? Ezreal, what have you done? <laughs> what was that? Okay, I'm pretty sure <laughs> there is a big... <laughs> there is a big discussion in this fight right now. Has he misclicked? It must have been some sort of a misclick. There is no way he did this on purpose. Right? He's back to 8k of fleets. Oof. I guess he panicked. But he has a defense habitat as well. So it will take some time for Elect. Oh no, never mind. And it has already broken through. Okay, this is bad. This is really bad. Unless... Oh no, he will not have enough time. His entire inner territory will be taken. I mean, he has kind of suicided his fleets. But Hive produced more pop than machine? No, we're talking about the... Situation like, log updated. We're talking about the... Uh, how much economy they have compared to the Situation amount of pops. So economy per pop. Situation and actually Chernobyl has less pops than, than Stanley. Updated. I wonder what Chernobyl is going to do. Like he has the biggest fleet in the galaxy, but he is not doing anything with it. Situation log updated. Singu is impressive. Singu's fleets it is so huge, so strong. Look at this. Hmm.
Now this pet has to react somehow. What are they doing, I wonder? Ah, okay, I see. <laughs> Oko Kirill's AI has a freaking juggernaut. <laughs> oh god. Imagine if Oko Kirill continued playing. I know that most likely his empire would not be so strong. Or at least it would it would not be producing as much. Still. This is kinda crazy. And actually, the console has a really nice fleet as well. Is he going to attack into someone? No, does not look like it. Hmm. To be honest, Asdrill has thrown away his lead. Well, it wasn't his like real lead, but... He had like 60k of fleets, like, yeah, 70k of fleets, and all of them were destroyed here. He literally jumped into this system, thinking there is no one there, and that was it. Hmm. Okay, this can be a trap. Yeah, this can be a real big trap. Let me check. Let me check who is watching me. I really do hope that no one from that federation is watching me. Or at least listening. Uh, nope. I wouldn't say that the game is lagging. It's it has kind of it has slowed down, but not by a big margin, right? I assume the fact that we have just Stanley, who is from North America, and Alec, who is from South America. Like we have players from all over the world, and the lobby is quite quite fast. All right, here is a big army of G. Stanley. Hunter Killer and Battle Frame. Oh no, Mega Warforms. Mega Warforms would be so good. Is Mill building anything here? Does not look like it. Defense Army regular. Any Soul Armies? Does not look like it. Hmm, Singularity alone has more fleets than. than Stanley and almost as much as uh, Chernobog. That's impressive. I wonder if he was going if, if he was getting any uh, Shroud Avatar in the system. Yeah. <laughs> Lol. Here is a powerful avatar. All right, this is this is <laughs> Cyanix for you. Wait, where are you going? Yo, relax, Avatar, please. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Where are you going? Oh, just chilling here. Okay. Imagine if it stopped the, if it somehow stopped the reinforcements. That would be kek. Hmm, Singularity has a big fleet here as well. All right, all right. Opa, just then is reinforcing with a lot of armies. This fleet, 
of the Federation are so slow. If the if they exploit with the fastest like with the fleet moving with the speed of the fastest ship was still on, they would have uh, got them already. But that's not the that's not the the case. Planetary invasion begun. Synthetic evolution. Chav did it. Log updated. <laughs> he also has the stockpile of alloys. Check. Yep. Synthetics. Here we go. Enclave Trader. Ah. Okay. So there is another machine. Check. Actually, how many machines do we have left? Singularity? Stanley? Well, Chaff is not a machine, because he has become one. He wasn't from the start. So actually, we have two machines in the lobby. That's it. Right? Yeah, that's it. We had three mach two more machines here, and they, they are gone. Situation log updated. Hmm. He has to disable this or destroy this while well, it's time. But I guess he cannot do this while armies are fighting, right? Because now <laughs> they will be... Like, now this federation will have to break through this habitat. This habitat will work as a freaking... Uh, FTL inhibitor. There is no way. Like, come on. Well, they have to... They have to jump through this system. Imagine if part of the fleet jumps through the system and part stays here. Jesus. Oh, they must they must kill this army. They must kill the army of G. Stanley once it gets up. Damn it, my, my throat is literally on fire right now. Oh okay. Wait. How did it happen? <gasps> Look, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, they cannot go through. They cannot. <laughs> okay, this is so... <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh, this is painful. Man, this is painful. Can they? No, they cannot. There is no way. Right? Lol, my cat is crying. Even my cat is crying because of this. Yeah, kitty. I, I agree. This is fucked up. <laughs> my cat's like, no, this is fucked up. <laughs> GG, go next. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck it. <laughs> Can they... What are they doing? Yeah, kids, I agree, it's fucked up. One hundred twenty, they have two hundred K. These dudes have almost two hundred K as well. But uh Singularity has a big fleet here. Is it moving there as well? Is it moving? No, oh, it's standing there. <laughs> This is such a cock block. This is why, uh, if you see that your habitat will be taken, you have to disable this shit. I have learned it the hard way as well. You have to like literally destroy this. Otherwise, uh... <laughs> will they start bombing it? <laughs> Looks like they will start bombing it. Yeah, this is some content right there. <laughs> no, this is so... Look at the amount of stuff they have here. Hmm. 
<laughs> Are they going back? Yeah, Asdrail has thrown this so hard. Man, if Astral has had his fleets here. This is so dangerous. <gasps> they will get wrecked. They will get wrecked. Battleships in the background. Firing up. Oh, did Singu use his jump drives? Oh, he had jump drives. Maybe they have a chance now. Maybe not. Yeah, most likely nope. Well, no, they have a chance. Yeah, they have a chance. Wow. Super cool fight. Never mind. Yeah. Oh wait, Cinco wasn't a no retreat. They are not a no retreat? Wait, Mule and Singularity were not on the no retreat. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, that's... This is some sort of morale breaking. <laughs> Oof. Poor Ezreal. Yeah, this is a beautiful game, but... I do not want to be in Ezreal's shoes right now. He is like the 0-10 jungler in League of Legends game. <laughs> Most likely he's getting flamed right now. <laughs> For throwing the game. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, kids, yeah, it's fucked up, I know. Even my cat is nervous about this. <laughs> Man. I have nothing to tell. Like the funniest part that Chandavok has 2.1k and he's not using it. Okay, what are the plans for this federation? That's a crushing defeat, actually. When there is one single point through which your enemies can reinforce your fleets and they have taken territory around it, that's it. That's GG. That's GG. I really want to stay until the end of the game, but I will not be able to. I already feel like I'm sleeping. If we started a little bit earlier, that could be it. Oh, it's almost... It's 4 hours and 40 minutes. Into the game, so like into the stream. So actually it's like 5 hours from the start of the game. I'm really curious of what Chernobyl is going to do. Looks like he just built fleets, builds fleets, and that's it. He has 700 allies per month now. Huh. Huh. His economy is so strong. His economy is better, like in numbers, is better than the economy of G. Stanley. But I guess G. Stanley has finished his echo already, right? Or must be real close. Yeah, his see his echo, echo is done. Eighteen point seven allies of from one drone, and you add some additional drones here for the uh, amenities. 
minus 13 from lower manager, so it's 85 stability at least. Yikes. All right, let me message Magicas. This guy is a big boy triarder.
KT noob again lose. <laughs> I lost the moment I started the game, everyone was ahead of me. Everyone has a better build, more allies, more of everything. Situation log I mean, Chanlock has 3 can K. He's just improving the amount of. Okay, wait. Okay, never mind. Okay, here we go. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Here, is, here is the. Remember when I said? Like when he starts moving his construction ship, that's it. Here comes the heavy hitter. Oh, wait. Asdrill has built some ships. Oh, nice. He'll be able to jump into the territory. This territory. 110k. Singu, I think you just kind of have the same amount of fleets. Asdrill has more fleets than Alec, actually. And Mew has more fleets. Oh, this federation will be uh, overpowering. Yeah, this federation will be overpowering. I'm so tired. For some reason, I have no idea what... I guess I have not opened the window to get some fresh air, that's why. That's why, like, I literally... I feel like I'm suffocating right now, okay? Hmm. The Federation is taking, is taking the territories back. And it looks like the Federation will also get some territories as well. And... Chernobog. Chernobog is ready. Is he waiting? I guess he's waiting for the end of the war. Hmm. Oh yeah, so if Chernobog attacks this dude, if he attacks DBR, then okay here we go he also attacks just stanley okay this will be interesting okay i cannot leave right now i will wait well actually when they see the fleets oh he, he even split his fleets he has enough power to split his fleets okay, that's interesting But his army is not that big. That might be the problem. One of the problems he has. Oh, Tibir will, will try to defend here, but even if Ale comes, it's not enough. Oh god, this this is like literally. Everyone is fighting with everyone. Well, not not everyone. That's Chernobog and the Federation against Stanley, Alec, and Tibir. Four v three, technically, but. Chernobog is like, wait, is it it? Is it the end? Oh wait, there were some fleets here and now they're gone. Yikes. Three hundred k. Three hundred k of fleets. Eight hundred. Alloys. Okay, how many how many worlds does he have? There must be another one. Gaia world, producing how much? 180. Alloy habitats, producing 87. And this one, producing 200. So, in total he has 1, 2, 3, 4 Alloy producing facilities. Yeah, that's nice. 
a 10k economy score. Wow, that's insane. Yeah, he's, he's going through the territories like hot knife through butter. Now he needs to build some armies. He does not have armies. Oh, he's lacking... He's lacking minerals as well. And he's in quite a deficit. 1.6k of energy. And 1.5k of minerals from jobs. Okay, what about just Stanley? 2.8. And 1.2k. Oh, he does not produce a lot of minerals. Alright. What about Singularity? 2.8k. Well, Singularity produces the same amount of raw resources as G Stanley. And he has 520 pops, almost the same amount of... Well, not, not almost the same, but like 70 less. Hmm, it looks like G Stanley will not have enough time to improve his early production. Yeah, he has to start resetting pops, but he doesn't have time for this. Hey, Kursiva. Hey there. We're now watching the endgame fight. Or rather, the, the fight of the endgame. Hmm. Alec, okay, Alec will be trying to free his worlds right now. And the Federation will be trying to uh, liberate these worlds as well. Hmm. Imagine if Okukiril's AI attacks someone now, 160k, <laughs> with Juggernaut. Oh, actually this icon is quite cool. I didn't see it. This is a Juggernaut, wow. More than 300k for Chanamok. Damn. Chanamok is. Chanamok is. Man, his macro is on the level. This guy knows how to play macro. How is meta looking as, for, as of now? Uh, biological Empires. Uh, necrophages, necrophages, and void dwellers. Um, if we're speaking about gestalts, then that's rock saboteurs and resource consolidation robots and hive minds. Actually, like there are like five to six builds that can be played now, with some variations for rock saboteurs, some variations for hive minds. But in general, high mines, rock saboteurs, usual bots with resource consolidation, void dwellers, necrophages, and some players even play the on shoulders of giants. Like Astral played on shoulders of giants, and he was quite strong throughout the whole game. I have to pay I have to pay respect for the Federation for not giving up after what happened here. Like this is like this is a block, like literally the blocking point. No one can. <laughs> like two parts of Federation are blocked by one single system, this one. This is a big kick right there. And actually actually there is there is a wormhole here that the Federation is not using. Oh, maybe Consul has closed his borders towards the Federation, huh? Okay, so Cannot check the victory log. That's interesting. And singularity is impressive. Is macro and the macro of Chernobog are impressive. These guys knows what they're doing.
Hi, Mr. Suka Dimitri. How am I? Uh, pretty good, Shin. What about you? What about you? Cast in the tournament. Cast in the first game. This is the first game of the Interstellar League. Wait. Wait a minute. There is no way. Where are the fleets of Chernobog? Has Chernobog lost his fleets? Oof. Okay. It looks like G. Stanley has just crushed the fleets of Chernobog here. Okay, that's interesting. I guess the reason is that, first of all, Chernobog has split his fleets. And second reason is that he was building, he had a lot of battleships against against pure destroyer fleets. You need cruisers and cruisers with advanced combat computers with this one. Oh, actually there is there is a chance he will be losing this. No way. No way. Wait, how many how many shipyards does Chandabok have? Enemy troops landing. Eight, twelve, sixteen modules. Oh wait, this is not his shipyards. Does he have one single shipyard? Oh man, wait a minute. That's that's a problem. He has only one shipyard. It will take ages for him to replenish his fleets. Oof. Chana has literally lost like a big amount of his fleets. He had 300k. He has lost at least. He lost 120k of fleets. Oof. Yeah, this is this is harsh. Ada has 83k already again. Oh, Singu has broken through. Oh yeah, this will be bad. Oof, Singu is taking over his territories. And for the like for the void validates. How much? Trade 112. Oh wait, at least uh, at least Alec has some production of consumer goods right now. Without that, his economy would be so dead, so damn dead. But actually, it's not that bad right now. But not for long. Singularity. Look at this. Where is Singu? 1.7k. Wow. He can take Stanley and Alec alone. Stanley is improving his alloy production, look at this. Like, give him a little bit of time and that's it. Also, look at this shit. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Imagine your huge army is getting stopped by some modified probe. What the fuck? It's literally a freaking modified probe. Jesus. <laughs> Imagine if you lose the war because of the freaking modified probe. 46 fleet power, stopping the armies. This is so not right. This is not right on so many levels. Oh yeah, g -Standard has stopped uh, like all the science pr production on the planet. And he's producing 7.7. 100. 100 this like on this single planet like Minopolis that's insane okay what about his 9k right and um, this helmet he has the same the same economy as the Chernobog For now, I would say that 
Singularity, Chernobog, G. Stanley, where's 3k tech, where's 1k alloy, hey Stephanox, oh, he will have 1k alloys quite soon, look at this income, his income is just insane. Yeah, and he has a memory. Hey, Turk Pilots, where can I find some of the builds these guys are playing? Uh, give me a second. Let me give you the link to Discord. Uh, on that Discord, you can ask guys for their builds. I will be adding the build. I will be adding the build section. And I will be adding... Uh, guides on the builds they are playing on my YouTube channel, but there is no ads on that. It can take years. <laughs> this is actually a really sad meme of me making videos. Okay, there will be a huge fight now. Wow, 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 wow. I'm out of ships. It's huge. Wow, that's close. But that's the entirety of their fleets, right? Julius is has dropped to 50k. Gistende is 35k. Azul has 100k. Wow. Was it just pure Julius oh, singularities fleets? Wow, that's impressive. Meanwhile, Chernobog. Meanwhile, Chernobog. Okay, he has built cruisers. He has realized his mistake. What build is G. Stanley doing? Rock Saboteur. There was G. Stanley, Barras, and Fabianski. Barras attacked into Fabianski. They annihilated each other fleets, and then G. Stanley attacked Barras, took his territory, and then took Fabianski's territory. <laughs> Proud of him not assimilating? Well, he has assimilated two robots here. So, he, he is assimilating. In, in, in. Oh no, look at this. This Alpine world does not act like a defense habitat. Maybe this one? <gasps> He's not ready. He's not ready. <laughs> this modified probe is still fighting. Is it even hitting anything? It's fighting shield. There is not a single army damaged. This fight will continue forever. Like literally. Oh, they have surrendered. Distending Alec had to surrender territories. In order to have a chance, because Chernobyl has too much too many fleets. Singularity's fleets are gone, but now Azrael and Fuel updated. can get some. Oh wait, Alec has taken one habitat. First Warlock Company. Wow. Yeah, this this system will be taken back. Only this territory will be taken. And this one. Well, that's quite a big planet, but not that big of a deal for Alec to lose. Here was not taken as well. Yeah, they can status quo quite soon. Is there anything taken here? Does not look like it. Hmm. Planetary invasion begun.
All right, I'll be leaving. Yes, give me a text him. Take some time, I really need to go to bed. Uh, no, no, no. Situation log updated. Alright guys, thank you for watching, I appreciate you everyone joining the stream, thank you for watching this, and sorry for not continuing for longer, it has been 5 hours already, like literally my throat is on fire right now, it's really hard to talk for some for this amount of time for me, yeah, good night. see you next time, and hope you enjoyed, I'll be uploading it to YouTube, uh, and hope this will be like a good tradition to have this sort of games every weekend, Anyway, see ya. Всем спокойной ночи, всем пока, спасибо, что зашли.